Hey guys, do you like charity? <laughs> Gamers, we have a big announcement. We are going to be doing a 24 hour charity stream. You Woo! heard that right. So the world situation, kind of messed up right now for all sorts of different reasons. So we thought we would come together, stream for 24 hours to support Doctors Without Borders on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash trash taste podcast. What are we gonna be doing on that stream though is the question you're probably asking. Games. <laughs> we have a bunch of different things planned, including guests, games, and humiliation. And Joey will eat a ghost pepper, maybe. Who knows? If we maybe, raise enough money. Maybe, maybe. maybe. So make sure to open up that wallet to make sure that Joey can suffer. That's that's the reason we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not here for the charity. I'm here to make Joey suffer. <laughs> so the event will be starting 11 a.m. Japan time on the 19th of March. Uh, if you live anywhere else in the world, here are some just basic time zones that hopefully Mudan is putting on screen right now. If not, look it up yourself on Time Converter. But yeah, it'll be going on 24 hours and uh, we'll hopefully change the world for the better, even for a little bit. And on with the episode. Wait, you're not gonna, you're gonna solve it? You're not gonna solve it, Joey? No, because I fucking, no, I got no, the no, yellow no, down no, here no, somehow. No, what are you it. done? We can't start recording until Joey solves his Rubik's Cube. No, that, it's, that, it's fine, that's it's fine. <laughs> you, I feel like I've got like, I need a chip, but like, it'll just. I completely forgot about that until he talked about it. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, poop enthusiasts, to another oh episode God. of Trash Taste Podcast. I'm poop enthusiast one with poop enthusiast. I'm not a poop enthusiast. I'm a bidet yeah. enthusiast. There's a difference. I, you I, literally it's, just it's an, said, "God, I need a shit." No, I don't. I need <laughs> Mi to. The second, same way. <laughs> I hope that's the first second of this episode. The same way you need to. Yeah, I'm not getting into this guy. I don't want. I don't, I don't even want to humor this clownery. <laughs> What have you been up to, Jay? <laughs> Poop. Poop. No. Pooping? Pooping? Pooping. Uh, doing, a lot, doing a lot of pooping? What have you been up to, huh? Uh, huh? Not playing Final Fantasy XIV like an for idiot. Fu for fuck's sake, Joey. For fuck's sake, yeah. Joey. I, I okay. called you out okay. right from the get-go. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I remember, so we record the episode where Joey's like, gone, don't play Final Fantasy XIV. I think and it I'm was like, like four weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, even. and I'm like, I'm like, okay, Joey, you're a good mate. I will trust you. Uh, <laughs> And then, and then what happens? I uh, get a, I get a condition in which I need to stay in the house right. every day for about two weeks straight. Okay. Um, and I have nothing to do because I'm not well enough to work. Mm -hmm. So what I do first, I, I complete thirteen sentinels, uh, which is uh, oh, you finish it? I, I I finished it, and then uh, it was, was it good. I, it was as fucking insane as you said it was. Good. And then I sit there twiddling my thumbs, going. What now? What do I, what, what, what do, I do now? <laughs> and then I, I look at the date and I look at Twitter and uh, no. Final Fantasy fourteen comes back on back on sale to oh the public. And God. I'm just like, and I'm just like, I don't, like either this is a sign from God or the devil. Either one, it's, it is uh, a sign. Definitely the devil. <laughs> either one, it's a sign. Yeah. The only way to get you guys to do anything is to be like, don't do this. Don't. Don't, don't 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 watch this. Don't play this game. You won't like it. Uh, was that the problem? Was that I, I was I was being too negative. I had to do the opposite. Yeah. I didn't watch Arcane this week. Right. Just Thank saying. That's it. That's it. That's, uh, that's all I'm saying. That's so yeah. funny. I didn't either. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's right. It. Yeah. Shit. Couldn't be me. But yeah, I mean, talking about addiction, Joey. I I, I see. <laughs> I see, I mean, you you recently got into a new gacha game oh, as well, God. didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. I, we mentioned it very briefly in the last episode. Yeah, yeah. It's just like the week where we just, what, what am I gonna start heroin this week? <laughs> well, like, well, everything I mean, you've <laughs> Addicts Every, Anonymous. Everything just goes wrong this week. I mean, you've recently just been addicted to uh, torturing yourself. I'm not with, addicted uh, to it. I wanna be done with it. I'm trying to finish. <laughs> no, you're definitely addicted to it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I don't you, like hurting myself. You're like I, a fucking massacre. Well, you, you, I, you don't like hurting yourself. You say after like your 10th Jump yeah. King stream. It's like, you know what, I'll getting, do it again. And then getting over it and then the pogo stick or I can't I, what's Pogo the, stuck. Po pogo stuck, yeah. that's it. Well, first of all, I want to clarify, I don't enjoy hurting myself, but I enjoy a challenge. Right? Sometimes challenges- Is that not just mentally hurting yourself? Challenges require us to go through some uncomfortable feelings and challenges. Uh -huh. I get that, you know, but I think-, I think I, No, I, I get that sentiment, but I think what makes a challenge, you know, satisfying is when you do it every now and then, yeah. you know, not- Every stream. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? I, I had this like revelation yeah. where I was sitting there and I was like, you know, nobody bats an eye if you spend 1,000 hours playing a FPS. Mm. Yeah. The moment you put 10 hours into a shitty jumping game, everyone's like, you've got a problem. You know, what's up with that? 
What so do you mean? I still think putting a thousand hours into an FPS is a yeah. problem. I mean, that's I, not I, a problem. I, I, you, got, you don't know. You're not a gamer. I, putting yeah. a thousand hours into an FPS is not. Well, problem. over how long? I don't know, like a month. A month? <laughs> okay, no, that is that is a problem. That is I, a problem. Is there, hold on, is there <laughs> even a thousand hours in a month? Uh, I think, yeah, it would be. It would be just under. I think. Because that would be a yeah. slight, that would be a different problem yeah. entirely yeah, 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 if there yeah. wasn't. No, there is not. No, yeah. Right. No, there is, there is. What am I saying? How many hours in a month? 720 hours. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. No, okay. Yeah. So, so this man is like in the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah, 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 like playing you can Apex. watch YouTube at 1.5 times speed. I yeah. FPS in 1.5 times speed. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, I feel like FPS, I can get it because at least there's a bit more variety than yeah. literally pressing a button and pointing in a direction and uh, doing that for 10 hours straight. I've never had like my wrists hurt before from gaming, but doing mm. the, the space bar games, that, mm. that hurts my wrist actually. I don't know why that hurts. Yeah, that wrist. is carpal yeah. tunnel speed run. It's cause it's like the same it's action like, over and yeah. over and over, right? Yeah, but it's good content though, isn't it? Not right now. It's terrible. It's good I content. No, no, to it, watch. It's it's, no, no, it's it's terrible right now because I've been. It's like a dementia stream. I'm just going around and doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Not making any progress. And but, I mean, yeah. when I do beat it, I, the time that's what I'm saying. It's good yeah, content yeah. to watch, not it's, to do. Well, it's a great YouTube highlight. Yeah, because yeah. then it's done. But when you're in the middle of it, you're like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Right. I don't yeah. know if like this can be done. Markiplier did like seven YouTube parts and just gave up. Yeah, I mean, I you mean, know like how soul crushing that is. I like, mean, like it's good content in the same way that you know Mr. Beast saying PewDiePie a million times yeah, or whatever yeah, is good yeah, content, true. you know. But you know, I, I, it's not exactly what I'd call fun, and it's definitely, yeah. uh, it's it's definitely suffering. That's not a for, day I can you know bring back. Yeah. So I, you know, I'd beat beat all the Jump King DLC. I'm probably gonna do the the other one at some point. I might have done it by the time this comes out. I don't know. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But um, I, I finished playing it. And I was like, oh my God, thank God the challenge is over. I can finally rest. Yeah. And I played Pokemon Arceus and like, it was kind of difficult, mm. but at no point did I ever think I can't do this. Like, well, this yeah, is of too course, much. it's a Pokemon yeah. game. <laughs> and I missed that. I missed that moment where I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, mm. this is so difficult. I need this. See, that's why you're a gamer and I'm not. Cause yeah. the moment I see a part of a game where I'm like, I can't do this. I'm like, guess I'll die <laughs> and I just but, don't do it. But like what? when I know someone else has done something, I'm like, yeah. well, I can do it then. Why don't you play Sifu then? What's that? Oh, uh, Sifu. Yeah, Sifu. It's it's like a new game that just came out, which mm. is kind of like based on, you know, old school martial arts films. And I've heard it's like pretty damn hard and it's pretty damn challenging. Mm. Uh, it's like got, I mean, I, I, haven't, I haven't played it yet, but I've seen other streamers and other people talk about it. And uh, I mean, I, I don't want to use like the Dark Souls analogy because everyone uses the fucking Dark Souls analogy. Like, you know, difficulty didn't exist before Dark Souls, but yeah. I have heard that it is a challenging game to get right, through. Right. That what, has- See, what I don't understand is- But I think is, like Dark Souls is like nothing compared to these, these rage games. Right, these, but what I don't understand is, okay, you say you want to go for a challenge, right? Yeah. Yet you don't want to learn how to speed run. So speedrunning is a different thing for me entirely. I don't think so. I think, I think it's exactly the I, same. I think <laughs> speedrunning is closer to the shit you're doing with Jump King yeah. and Pogo Stuck than it is to do with like so, challenging, you know, like just uh, mechanically, games, yeah. mechanically well, challenging no, games. This, okay, see, here's where, this is where I think speedrunning for me is like something that I, I mean, I've enjoyed it. I've done it in the past. Mm. I used to speedrun like Cophead. Mm. Uh, back when they had an exploit in the game that they removed and then mm. it's like not really fun to do because it takes a lot longer now. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so I used to enjoy doing it, but I found that the point was is like, okay, let's say you get to a certain point. Right? Yeah. You get to a really good time and you start shaving off like microseconds, right? Yeah. If you're a streamer and you know, you want to stream content, it becomes really difficult to, to keep saying like, this is content over and over again, because I'm not a speed runner. I'm trying to make content, right? Right. Yeah. And so, like, if you if I'm trying to make like a YouTube channel, I'm trying to make highlights. I can't be like Jump King speedrun highlights part seventeen, right? It mm. just doesn't work like yeah. that, right? I mean, right. I, I've, you and can... also with with like something like Pogo Stuck or Jump King, right? When if I'm not speedrunning, I tried speedrunning Jump King. I, I got pretty good time. I got twelve mm. minutes. I think I can do better, but again, I'd have to grind it a bunch, mm. and it's not that entertaining. But having a hard goal that is like, you have done it at mm. this point, you're done, you can stop. That's way more satisfying. I think as a viewer to watch, right. but also as a content creator, it's a lot better for like a narrative in a video well, to have like I mean, I, I, I think it's pretty simple to turn speed running into content. You just, well, yeah, set, you can, you just set yourself yeah. a hard target, a hard right, number right, that but you get on. Like, like, I, like when I say you should be doing speed running content, I'm, I don't mean like you should be going for a fucking world record or anything, yeah, but no. like, you know, like maybe setting your goal to be like, all right, if the world record is like 10 minutes in this game, yeah. then, you know, my goal is to get a, 
PB well, of no, 15 I, I, minutes, I, I, right? Oh, well, then that, that, that tends in, yeah, you could do that. I mean, like Ludwig did it with like some of the, the games that I, like, he yeah. did, like, can you beat all of Jump King in an hour? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Three, all three maps. Mm. You yeah. know, that, that, that's interesting. That's way more appealing to me than yeah. Trish trying to grind and get the best time. Yeah. Uh, very impressive with the people who can do it. Mm. I'm just not consistent enough. I mean, it's fucking hard. This like these. I don't know, man. You've been pretty fucking consistent with all these like hard ass yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, you. I seem think you're to like have, one step away. You seem to have found a niche of just yeah. I will just do this one repetitive thing that yeah. is this one mechanic in the game and yeah. do it for ten hours. Yeah. And I'm just that like, sounds I, exactly I like what a speedrunner would do. I think because you know, it's it's uh. One of those things, I keep saying that when I want to buy time, like one of those things. It's one yeah. of those things. One, of those things. one more you thing. You basically can, you need perseverance to like an extreme level for a lot of these games. Mm. And I feel that um, most people would just think this is stupid. <laughs> and I'm just like, but I, I can see like the micro improvements. Right. I feel the like tiny, tiny improvements every uh, time. I feel like this is pure copium right now. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's not. No, no, you no, no. Get, you get better. Okay, okay. Cause, cause like I get that for like, say a mechanically intensive game like Sifu, you know, like mm. Dark Souls. You would not be feeling this satisfied if you weren't streaming this game. No, I would never do it alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, exactly, right? Because it it isn't as satisfying. Like like you're finding like the micro like the micro things that you find fun about this game to try and cope with how much of of like how much of a shit time? How you're much having. of a shit time you're having while doing it? But at least people are watching yeah. you do it. You know, like, I'm not. That's like, the, the chat yeah. is the silver lining. In yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. Thing. But, but like, okay, so like Jump King. Uh, initially, I thought I thought that it was dumb. I thought it was stupid. I thought it was unfair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After playing it, I think it's like amazing. I feel like it's like, I'm not kidding. It's an amazing game. Would you have said that though, if you hadn't beaten it? No, absolutely not. Right. And I understand if, if you play it and you think it's unfair, I understand yeah. that. But when you play those games more, and especially like, okay, Pogo Stack is, is not, it's, it's awful, awful game, <laughs> not. You said that about Jump King, like literally no, 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 two, no, no, no. two, three no, weeks no. ago, right? No, I didn't, I didn't. Actually, Jump King was good. This is gonna be Paul Ace things when he beats Pogo <laughs> yeah, Stark no. and he's like, best game ever made, amazing. Jump King has, amazing has the bang of visuals, absolutely amazing soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And I do, I do agree. I do like the aesthetics of Jump it's King. It's like yeah. a, it's, it's yeah. a package, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I will hold my. Uh, yeah, you guys. You, I, I, you guys I will reserve that, my yeah, opinions yeah. because uh, by the time this episode comes out, me and Joey will probably have already done our Jump King race. Mm. You gonna uh, try and beat it? You gonna go for it? If, yeah. I mean, if we can, sure. But I think. I mean, probably not on that race. But personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I start something, I'm going to finish it. Yeah, yeah. And I like if like I think this race is gonna be the reason why I came up with the race idea is because uh, you know I like myself yeah. uh, enough to not torture myself on stream mm. for entertainment. Okay, okay, okay. So I was like, so he I'm dragged me. He dragged yeah, me. So like, he dragged, yeah. he dragged me. I'm like, this. I need someone else to feel this I mean, pain with he, me. He was literally on camera. Yeah. You could you could rewind back I to that trash taste episode, episode where he was like, yeah. jumping sounds fun. Go on, do you want? Yeah. Do jump you want to do it? You haven't played it. At all. Oh, what a coincidence! <laughs> me neither. But uh, I think, like, I mean, we've probably already done it by the time this episode is coming yeah. out. But like, as of right now, I think it's like we're giving ourselves like maybe four hours, uh, just because Gan and I are incapable of streaming for more than four hours think, in any game. I think ten to fifteen hours is a good range of how long it might take you. Right. All right. So, okay. so well, that race streams. we probably won't be beat, beat it. But yeah. I think afterwards, once we get the idea, then we'll probably like individually do it yeah. and then yeah. try and beat it. It's weird because like games like that, they mm. like trick you into thinking that the only progress that matters is how far you've gotten. Mm -hmm. Where it's like in games like Jump King and stuff like that, you're gonna have to restart so many times. Where mm. it's not about how far you can get; it's how many times can you do all of the jumps to the point where you fell perfect. Yeah. Like, can you do that more consistent? It yeah. kind of sounds like speed running. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, I mean, it is. But, it but is. at least with Jump King, you get a mental break. You know, you can stop for a moment and you can kind of like, okay, right? Yeah. Pogo yeah, Stark, yeah. it doesn't stop. The Pogo right. doesn't stop moving. It's just awful. awful so like moving. speed running. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, the more I think about it, the more, the more I'm just I think like, about it, Pogo Stark is just a speed running. Yeah, it's, it's a speed running simulator. Yeah. I try it. Try it. It's one of those games that looks a lot easier than it is, for sure. I mean, I've done like Bennett Forty's getting over it. That's and easy like, though, that's nothing. Yeah, and like co-op and stuff like that. And I'm just like, even then yeah, I was just like- I thought getting over it was hard. After playing these games, getting over it is like medium, not even like hard. Yeah. It's, I, I mean, I beat getting over it in three hours, mm. my first time, so. I well, I feel like I you think. started with Jump King and then you, yeah, yeah. like, I guess you downgraded to getting over yeah. it. You right? get the mindset. It's not about how good you are at the games. It's about getting the mindset to improve at the games. <laughs> 
I feel like I, f- I feel like I could. I just I'll just go into like Zen mode. You need to, zero yeah, zero yeah. rage, oh, yeah. zero raging from yeah. me. You can't you can't beat a game like that <laughs> while fucking being like. <laughs> you know. I did most of the time. <laughs> I was furious. I fuming. <laughs> It's so hype though, man. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the sound, but, if you ever get to the top of the castles, the, yeah, sound, I, I, the I, soundtracks are like oh, yeah. hype. I can imagine it. But like, I see you guys have been playing Pokemon a lot as well. Yeah. I mean, you've well, been playing I, it a bunch I, on I stream. It. Yeah, well, he's you, you finished it? I didn't, I didn't. He's finished did he, like the main story. Did you finish it on stream or finish yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't get Arceus. That's all I have to do. Yeah, so there's like a lot of post, post game. So um, I've heard like mixed things about Arceus, which has um, stopped me from getting it right now, which is like, I've heard like, it's a really fun game, but it's just a really empty world. I mean, I, I, it, it's the best Pokemon game we've had in like five, I don't fucking know, a very long a time. A very long time, yeah. I agree. That's, that's like saying like, this is the best Big Mac I've ever had. It's like, <laughs> it's not that much. It's way better like than stretch. the Big Mac down the road. <laughs> yeah, 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 this yeah. isn't like saying that like our Queen of Time came before it in like the Zelda, right? Yeah. This is, yeah. That, yeah. That we haven't had a fresh Pokemon game in a long time. I know this is old news by the time this has come out, but I think it's still good to retro. I mean, I'm still yeah. playing it. I'm yeah. playing all the post game and I'm doing all the side quests and everything. Yeah. I'm just that kind of gamer. It was hard. It's a hard yeah. Pokemon game. It gets like, very hard. Some of the battles are hard as fuck. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because it feels like they revolutionized what they needed to and somehow just completely like did stupid choices for certain mm-hmm. things. Right. right. They just like make battles for like the first like two thirds of the game, just like way too easy. Way too easy. Right. Yeah. And then randomly they're like, how about we just uh, fuck you? Uh, and they just start making them really <laughs> fucking hard. It's not only it, but the thing that I noticed is that it's not just the fact that there's just this immediate jump in the levels of the mm-hmm. Pokemon, but like I feel out of all the Pokemon games, the AI in this game is so fucking good. Oh yeah, it's, it's smart. It knows they're what's very, good, yeah. very smart. So right. it's like, they do some moves where I'm just like, that's like competitive level Pokemon. Yeah. Right. And I'm just getting fucked. Cause like, I'm so used to, you know, fighting like really dumb NPCs in Pokemon games, right? Like in all the mainline Pokemon games. Yeah. And this this time around, it's like, uh uh-uh, uh, we're playing 5D chess now. <laughs> yeah, and then I just get <laughs> fucked. Yeah, I felt like in previous Pokemon games, just knowing the typings of the Pokemon was enough to like easily, comfortably get you. Yeah, through. yeah. Right. Whereas I, the points in this game, I was like, I know all the typings. I just can't beat this one guy. Yeah. Like, there's this one fight in the game that's very difficult. Mm. Right. And it took me like 10 attempts to really? do Really? Yeah. Very frustrating. So you can't just like autopilot your way through the game anymore. You do have to, after a certain point in the game, if you want to beat a certain <laughs> fight, you do have to like yeah. think and grind and actually, I doubt you'll do it first time. It's I, very okay. difficult. I managed to do it first time, but only because my chat was like, uh, there's a hard as fuck oh, fight coming up. Yeah. So you better, uh, you better at least like prepare. And I'm like, guys, come on. Fucking easy, whatever. <laughs> it's and then I did it, I almost fucking died. I was like, oh, okay. I should probably, uh, I should probably go grind a little bit. Right. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, but uh, like, look, I, I completely get why people don't want to touch the game because mm-hmm. not gonna, when I first booted up the game, I was like, God, this looks like a PS2 game. It like, doesn't, it doesn't look great and it doesn't run great. Graphically, either. it doesn't look great. It runs like shit a lot of the times, yeah. uh, especially if you're like playing it through a capture card. Like right. it's, it's a little bit better. I play it a little bit <clears> on stream, <throat> like on the Switch yeah. and it plays okay. Right. It's still not amazing. Like it's still nowhere near as like, you know, fucking Mario Odyssey levels of like frame rate or anything like yeah. that. But I think you get over it very quickly because the gameplay mm. is just so refreshing yeah. and fun. And like, yeah, yeah, I get the world is like, empty or whatever, well, but- people, people said it was empty, but that's like, I mean, the Pokemon are the thing that you give a shit Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. I hated having to collect these fucking berries in the trees all the time. I <laughs> yeah, I kept running out of Pokeballs. It was really it's annoying. Like, you know, you could like go on a mount, but you couldn't collect stuff on a mount. So you had to get off it to collect the stuff and then immediately get back on it. Really no, you annoying. can collect stuff on a mount. Uh, no, you can't. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you can't. Yeah. No, you can't. You can. No, you have to get off the mount. What? Oh, oh, like throwing it at a tree. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant just like stuff on the ground. Oh, stuff on the ground. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. About okay. That. okay. I, was, I was like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. But like, bad. the best part of the game is just catching Pokemon. They yeah. actually like recaptured that joy of being yeah. ten again. Which the fact, like, was the, the moment when you can just like be hiding in a a little shrub and you just fucking yeet a Pokeball just across the field and you catch that Pokemon without it noticing you is like the best feeling yeah. every time. Yeah. And also, like, you can like let's say your level. Uh, 30, you can catch a level 70 Pokemon with enough persistence. Yeah. Right. If you just just get very, very lucky, yeah. right. which is really fun. And it's like yeah. really like, oh my God, this is so exciting. It's a hype moment when you yeah. like catch level 70 at level 30. But you can't control it. 
So, yeah. But I mean, it's still like really cool. So you can mm. have these really strong Pokemon. I felt like they had a good range of Pokemon. They didn't yeah. just choose the normal ones you expect. I don't know. I think uh, people were a bit too harsh on it. I think. I agree. Yeah, I think a little people were so? a little bit too. Yeah, because it's, I mean, I get you know, I get the whole argument of like, oh, it's Nintendo, it's Game Freak. You know, they should have a billion gajillion dollars to put into you know making a smooth game and yeah. giving yeah. it the best graphics. But it's like. I don't know. I, I I personally think that like the graphical <laughs> choice, I guess, that they went I mean, for. I mean, I don't really like, care about the story. I don't really care about graphics that much. Me neither. Um, honestly, like, honestly, like well, I, I don't either. But it, they were noticeably lacking. I'd say. Yeah, but, uh, they definitely. weren't. It wasn't that they weren't good. It's that they were like, oh, okay. There were definitely some moments where I'm like, oh, that tree in the distance is freaking out for no reason. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's just ignore that. <laughs> yeah. Right. But uh, I, there was good uh, quality of life changes. I don't know. It's, it's Pokemon, right? So when they take they take one step forward and then they just tear, tear their leg off. That's yes. what they do. Like yeah. they, the moment they have something good, they start just fucking it up. Mm. And I bet, I hope that we get more games like this because they mm -hmm. basically made it so that you don't need to battle, but also the battling is way smoother. There's not this animation bullshit. It's mm. like it just yeah. happens. You know, you can run around, you can, it's yeah. good. But I know it's Pokemon. So they're going to be like, all right, now let's just get rid of that. Let's not do that anymore. And it's like, why? What's wrong with you? Yeah, uh, I really hope that I'm enough. Wrong. Enough fans need to make a fucking uproar for them to like bring back a I don't know. Thing. I feel like Pokemon fans are loud as fuck. I feel like it's just Pokemon companies doing their own thing. Yeah, that's usually like, it's, it's just the Pokemon company being like, we can make whatever the fuck we want. We know you'll buy it. Yeah, I mean, they will. Yeah. I mean, Pokemon's like the most profitable yeah. like yeah. franchise of all time for like a reason, right? It's a fun game though. I'd say, uh, I think I said Score it was a six ten? or a seven out of Six ten. or seven? Yeah. I'd give it like, yeah, seven or eight, I'd say. Right. It's, well, it's a really refreshing <clears throat> game. Considering I bought the uh, Pearl and Diamond remake and I have barely had the motivation to even put it in my Switch, mm. I think yeah. that says a lot. I know, it's, it's weird for me, right? Because as like as someone who doesn't really have time to play games, I like, if something's not like a nine or a 10, I very rarely go out and play it unless I'm streaming it or making mm. content or something like but that. But how would yeah. you know if it's a nine or a 10 if you don't play it? Um, normally I just, Watch reviews and watch and listen to recommendations. I don't know if you've heard of I've, a thing called IGN. <laughs> but uh, obviously, I, I go yeah. on a thing called a Metacritic. Obviously, oh obviously, the most trustable, the most trustable. So source. basically, the only game Garn has ever played is Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a light novel though, as well, so that might get you into it. Yeah, there's a lot they of dialogue. Never it's, shut the fuck. It, up. There's a lot of dialogue. It's it's really yeah. weird because it's like it takes me a lot to get into a game. Sometimes it's like mm. I like I try I I've tried to really like narrow down what my taste in video games is. And the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, I have no idea. Mm. Cause like, okay, so like with, with Final Fantasy 14, for example, like, so I was playing that like a little here and there mm. during like, yeah, uh, during when I was ill, right? Mm. And I remember literally yesterday, literally yesterday, right? We were in the lift and I turned to Joey. I'm like, Joey, gotta be honest with you, start Final Fantasy 14, right? <laughs> But you don't need to worry, Joey. I'm like, it's 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 not it's not addicting at all. Like I'm 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 like I'm like I I played it. I've stopped myself. I'm good. Extra I'm good. Out, right. Out. I, shook, um, I shook his hand and everything too. Yeah, <laughs> he she shook my hand. Um, and then I went home and I'm just like, uh, I don't really have anything to do. Maybe I'll just do like I like because the thing is, it's just a nice comfort game for me to like zone out and just you know mm. tap buttons. Um, and then so I, I booted up and then I get into like my first like big boss battle, or, like big raid. And then I remember finishing the uh, finishing the raid. I was like, oh no, that was really fun. <laughs> That was, that, was, that was really fucking fun. I need you to, I, I want to take back that handshake I gave you that night. Cause I thought, I thought we had like established something, you know, there, there was a there was a trust that was formed there I and he just you. ripped it away. I was just like, oh, I really, really want to continue playing now. I look at the clock. I'm like, it's midnight. I, we got a trash taste recording in the morning. I'm like, I can go for another two hours. I got, <laughs> and I got another hour or two. I, I can squeeze. How much sleep do I need? And like, cause here, here's the thing. I've never like, I I've, I never really got into MMOs, right? And mm. I, I never I never went through a phase where I got addicted to Rune uh, RuneScape, RuneCraft. Or, yeah. I was gonna say RuneCraft then, <laughs> RuneScape or WoW yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. like that. Uh, so this is like my first proper MMO, and mm. like I, I wasn't really into it because I thought like I didn't really enjoy the gameplay because mm. like the the, mm. the battle system for Final Fantasy, especially at the beginning was like really fucking basic. It's yeah. like just point at something and tap a button and do like a basic three hit combo. And then mm. that's it. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm here for the story. I'm going to stick here for the story. Mm. But uh, then I experienced the first raid. I was like, no, that was, that was pretty damn fun. Um, and I'm, I'm scared for myself now. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. It's just, I just, it's been a while since I've had the experience of just having a moment in a game and just having like this 
I, I guess like it felt it felt like a like a like an ember had been lit. Just like I want to experience that again. That's and what I'm know- saying, man. Like MMOs are a lot like 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 man. quicksand, yeah. where it's like the more you try to quit, the more you just get sucked in. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got it out of me when I was like yeah, 14, 15. Yeah, same. I, I same. don't really have an urge to play MMOs at all. Me neither. Mm-hmm. Me neither. Yeah, I mean, like, what, what what did you guys find addicting about MMOs when you got into it? I think the number one thing that got me addicted, which I'm glad you haven't experienced yet Mm -hmm. per se, is when you have like a large group of friends that you see often who also play it. Where like, it's just like, like I had like, a group of like three or four mates like during the RuneScape era and like, or like the Maple Story era that I could just like ring up on Skype and just be like, all right, so uh, sesh for like seven hours and like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And then you just play it while you're in a conversation. And it's the, the best way to kill time but at the same time, it's like you finish that seven hour session and you're like, what have I just done? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a game where like the goals, or for me at least felt like they were, uh, there's never a, a never ending supply of goals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas right. in like a game, like, I don't know if I if I do this, the campaign in a COD or something, mm-hmm. it's yeah. like, I'm done in an hour. Yeah. yeah. But in RuneScape, it just like never ended. <laughs> yeah. And every time I, I hit a milestone and I got more cool quests I could do. Mm. And I thought, yeah. wow, that's so sick. Oh, I got this really badass item. Okay. And so like every time you're you're grinding towards something, you always just kind of unlock these cool things that were just enough serotonin boost to keep you being like yeah. invested a lot. And yeah. then even when you finish through like all those side quests, for example, yeah. you, you see one player that just walks past your player and you go, I want what he has. Yeah, How yeah. do I get that? And then now your quest is to be that guy. Yeah, exactly. Right? You would, you would it just wanna, never yeah, ends. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then also, like, I don't know if you can do this in Final Fantasy, but mm. in RuneScape, you could lose like all your stuff. Mm. Really? Yeah. You could just lose all <laughs> yeah, your. Yeah, RuneScape house. by dying. Yeah, by getting killed. By dying. Oh, okay. Fuck! Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've died a fuck ton. I've not lost nothing. So thank, see thank that. God. See there you go. That's yeah. like yeah. That. I know, I, pussy I've, MMO. I, I, I've <laughs> killed in your hand. I feel like I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to get into like RuneScape or WoW then because like one of the big factors I feel like into video games is like, I need a, I need a reason to keep playing. And most of that reason is storyline. Like gameplay loop, a lot of the time, that's not enough of a reason to keep me invested in, mm. me invested in the game for like long term. Mm. Um, having said that, your thing about the mates thing, like when I was, when I was doing this boss battle, I was like, I wonder how fun this would be with friends no, to do no. it <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> you're, gonna be that, you're gonna be that guy who like, can't, can't join us today because he has a raid or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh he has God. an event raid that's only available during these hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is, I guess the start of, I don't know what, yeah, yeah. it just, maybe I might stream it, who knows? You know how uh, before you were saying that like, uh, viewers of Trash Taste could tell when we record these episodes based on my hair. Yeah. That now they're gonna be able to tell based on the size of his eye bags <laughs> that are gonna be falling from endless nights of Final <laughs> Fantasy 14. It's like, it's like, oh man, they're like th- this far down now. It's like, you finished three raids, God. I, I think I also stay away from them because my little brother was like addicted to World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I could like just see how much he would play it. <laughs> And to like no avail. Yeah, exactly. Right. At the end of it, he was just like, "Yeah, it wasn't that fun." <laughs> <laughs> After like years of playing. Yeah. Well, well, of course, it's like it's like you know every fucking league player or like mm. Overwatch player that invests way too much time mm. into this one game, and of course, what do you have to show for it? Well, you know, I reached diamond. You know, I, I reached. I reach, yeah, usually, I, usually, I reach, what you have to show for it can be summed up in one sentence. Yeah. yeah. It's well, like, yeah, well, it was fun. Why is it that playing like a hundred games for 10 hours is like seen as okay, but playing one game for a thousand hours is like, no. Double standards, right? What society? We, Soci- live, in we live in a society. <laughs> That's fucked up. We live in a society. That ain't right. I don't know. I just feel like there are just so many games nowadays that are available, even if like you have nothing to, even even if you feel like you have nothing to play or no big releases have mm. come out, then mm. you just go through your fucking Steam library, right? My Steam I'm library is like my, my God, library. I have not touched my Steam library. Like I think I'm, to I'm my, I, that's what I think to myself, right? I'm like, okay, so I just finished this game. Yeah. Go, when I finished 13 Sentinels, for example, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. I finished that game. Fuck, now, do I, now what do I want to play? <laughs> Normally people would be like, oh, I have a fuck, a, like 300 games in my Steam that I haven't yeah. even like installed at all. Nope, instead I go to the PlayStation store, I download the Sona 3 Nocturne. <laughs> 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 and I was like, yeah, let's play this. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm, pl- yeah. now I'm just playing that. Oh my God. 
God. See, I, I would rather have one game that I'm really into than a hundred games that I mildly enjoyed. Yeah. You know, like to, to me, like, like I, Pokemon RCS, for example, it seems like kind of fun, but mm. it doesn't seem like a game that I could like properly like throw myself into, you know, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's weird for me. Cause I, I'd rather be like fully invested in just like emotionally invested in one, like so a few things. Why Final Fantasy? Why did that get you emotional? Because I heard from every person who fucking talks about Final Fantasy that has a good story. And yes, to, to, to be I, fair, as much as I- But I, I heard about like NFTs are great if you just listen to <laughs> NFT people. So that's, that's <laughs> you know, uh, if you're asking addicts why something's great, yeah. it's probably not a good, like, did you talk to people who played it and didn't like it? Well, okay. <laughs> okay. That, there's the catch. Everyone who's played it has no, said it's a good no, game. No, no, it's just, it's just like, for example, like when I played the trial when it first came out, I'll admit it's a great fucking game. But I, I like used a hundred percent of my brain power to be like, you want it's. A, I know it's a fun game, brain, but you're not but going you, to like, play it. I feel like if you're only talking to people who are into it, oh, they seem to all like it. Yeah, because they're into it. Yeah. But that's the thing, everyone, at least around me, that mm -hmm. I know that has or is playing 14 has said nothing but good things about it. Yeah, I feel I feel like there there are some people who are like maybe, you know, people who are, for example, addicted to League or addicted to Overwatch where they're like, no, just don't get into it. Uh, it's, uh, it is it is not a, you, you don't have fun with this yeah, game. Yeah, but that's because yeah. you're, you're, in, you're in, you know, every game has its life, life graph, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Final Fantasy is just in its like, it's infancy compared to League. We have like 15 <laughs> years or no, 10 plus years of League of don't do it, don't do it. We know <laughs> time has proven us. <laughs> History has taught us. Well, 14 at this rate might also get to that point. Yeah, yeah. Might, look, yeah. look, I, I don't know if this will be a poorly aged thing, but I'm in for the story. And once I do, I do the story, I just, I won't really have any other that's, reason to that's continue the catch playing 22, it for, right? They're always coming out with another expansion. <laughs> it doesn't end. <laughs> well, like, you know, it, I, is, that, that, is that microtransactions in it? Uh, is mm, it? I, have, I haven't expansions. seen any. Is, yeah, it, yeah. is it microtransactions for expansions? Well, well, for costumes, yeah. Like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, it's a Japanese game. Of course there's microtransactions. Yeah. But like you, I, from what I understand, you pay for like any new expansion, which is basically like another part of the storyline. Mm. So, and it's, I mean, WoW was the same as well, right? What? You had to you had to pay for expansions? Well, yeah. I was a subscription you service, right? Yeah, it was yeah. a monthly plus you had to pay yeah. for expansions, right? <laughs> yeah. And now you have to pay for coins or something. Like yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know too much about the MMO world. Um, that's well, why I play Gotcha, where I can choose to put money in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not like, a requirement. It's, it's like the cancer cell fight with the AIDS cell at this point. You know, you know what's better than MMOs? Who gotcha, will win? Gotcha games. Everyone's into that Lost Ark, now, aren't they? Yeah, everyone's into Lost Ark. I don't know yeah. what it is. I, I, I'm too scared to ask. This I've, I've, I've seen a lot of my friends play it on stream and I'm like, okay, that looks fun, but I'm, I'm, right now I'm into Heaven yeah. Burns Red, so I'm yeah. just playing that. I'm in it for the story. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. When you use the bathroom, you always close the door behind you, right? Of right. course, Connor, I right? Don't. I don't. Right? I don't. Of course, I don't. of course. So why would you let people look in on you when you go online? Using the internet without ExpressVPN, it's like going to the bathroom <laughs> and not closing the door. Did you know that your internet service provider knows every single website you visit? What? And what's worse is that they can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who will use your data to target you. <gasps> But gentlemen, 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 ExpressVPN puts a stop to this. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone. I use ExpressVPN on all my devices because it works on everything, phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone Ooh. who shares your Wi-Fi can still be protected even if they don't have ExpressVPN themselves. And the best part is using ExpressVPN is as easy as closing the bathroom door. You just fire up the app, click one button and boom, you're protected. So if you're like me and you believe your online activity is your business, Secure yourself today by going to expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Use my exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Mm. And you can get an extra three months for free. <gasps> That's expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. You know you know what uh, non-toxic game I introduced these gamers to today? Uh. Wordle. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 that, I finally, oh my God, dude. It was like a, a weight lifted off my shoulders because for, for months now, every time I go onto Twitter, 
like five people on my timeline are just like tweeting out these like, like these fucking squares. It's, it's these, like, like these yellow yeah. and green I, I'm, squares. I, I'm just like, is he, are this is this like hieroglyphs or something? Mm. Like what what's what's going on? I was is, like, is this like an invitation to a cult or something? Yeah, like, yeah. do I have to decipher this? And then I join like the fucking <laughs> the the stone smith or whatever the fuck it's called. Stone mason. Stone, stone mason. That's me. I, I was almost <laughs> more confused once Gant had actually explained it to me because I was like, right. why are people tweeting this out? Yeah. I okay. I look, admittedly, make any yeah. Sense. Admittedly, admittedly, it's good. It's like a good like little time waster because there's only one word a day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think it's like their their marketing strat. I don't know if it was like on purpose, but mm. it was like fucking five head, right? Because mm. everyone gets the same word every day, and you only get one word a day, mm. right? And when you tweet it out, it's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of like tweeting out like a gold star or something or like an achievement in a video game, it's right? It's like, but it's the equivalent of being like, yeah, so uh, yesterday I beat level 127 of Candy Crush in like two minutes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, get I mean, on my level I, scrub. I, I, don't, I don't tweet it out. I just yeah. do it just to prove to all the tweets that I see yeah. that I can do it every day. I, I, yeah, I, I sat there and I was like, but why, why would anyone tweet this out? Because I because I guessed a five letter word correctly. I, because you're I big was, brain, I, was really, you're big brain. I just couldn't understand it. I, am, I, am, I, am I missing something? Like, is it no, what no. about it is an achievement? I'm not attacking anyone who has tweeted out. You can do whatever the fuck you yeah. want on Twitter. <laughs> I just there's some people who are like they were like I don't know pretty like big accounts. I'm like, why the fuck are you tweeting about <laughs> Wordle? Yeah, I had like I had like two or three people I followed that yeah. I think were like actively. At one point, we're like, what the fuck is this word or shit? I don't fucking know. And then like a week later, they're like, yeah, got it in two tries, baby. I was like, oh no. Yeah, is this Final Fantasy 14 all over again? No, because like the, the thing I don't understand about how this trend started is like, what made people want to tweet it yeah, out in the yeah. first place? <laughs> right? Right. Because who sits there and is like, yeah, I gotta let everyone fuck it out. Just, <laughs> you, know, you, you, know, you know when you like have an app open and you get like that notification, which is like, would you like to review no, this yeah, app? No. And then post it on your Sh timeline. Share your like, results. Like who's, yeah, share your results. <laughs> who's ever fucking shared the results before right. Wordle existed? And what what was the black magic that Wordle put on their users to make people want to share the results? Like, like when I get like a high school on Temple Run, I'm not fucking yeah. sharing that. Cause, cause I did, a fucking mobile Share game. it to your Facebook friends. It's like, no, I don't think I will. Yeah. Everyone who's like, yo, Facebook sucks. Like, yeah, no, Twitter is slowly becoming Facebook. This yeah. is what boomers do. This is what they do. Yep. They're like, look what I got in Farmville. It's like, what? <laughs> We're no better than them. But like, what? What is it? It's it's like the equivalent of like having a newspaper with like a, like the crossword. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And like your grandpa comes and shows you. Oh, look at this completed so crosswords crossword. are too hard. So yeah, yeah crosswords are like way words. harder. Right? It went, yeah, it went <laughs> it went from crosswords to like newspaper Sudoku puzzles, and yeah. then it's now Wordle. Because I thought, because I was what I was surprised the most about Wordle was that I thought it was like an app. Yeah, right, yeah, like all, yeah. The, like all those other ones, right? But yeah. then I realized it's the fucking New York Times. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's just, just, it's York, just, it's just uh, like yeah. a thing that the New York Times has. Yeah, it's just like, like, I remember it's Joey searching for it on like the app store. It's yeah. like, no, you just you just type it in the browser. And I'm like, why, why is there like this. Russian apps coming up on my thing? Like, is this- Wordle. Yeah, Wordle. I was like, uh. That's why the New York Times bought it. Yeah, they bought it, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Big brain. Yeah, I, I, I remember I tweeted it ages ago. I was like, I don't know what Wordle is. And it's been so long that I was too afraid to ask. Yeah, at I least, did. well, I mean, you weren't afraid to ask because you tweeted it out. <laughs> yeah, I, I was yeah. actually afraid to ask. I'm like, I don't even want to, I'm keeping this in the drafts, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking tweeting I mean, like, I, I like tried my longest to like, just not Google it. Yeah, right? I, you know, I like refuse to give it the attention. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is gonna die in a week. I'm yeah. not gonna look And then it. like, I was just like, it's going to, it's, it's something that's going to die in a fucking week or something. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. fucking know. I'll, I'll let Twitter burn itself out. I didn't even know what it was called. So like, I got this close to like going on to Google and being like, uh, green and yellow squares on my Twitter timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah. And then I gave it a week. Yeah, didn't die. Give it two weeks, and people were still posting about it. And mm. I'm just like, okay, I need. I just, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. So, okay. So, how long have you been doing Wordle now? For like, for like a good week or something. Just, okay. Just, well, just every day. You just log on. When, go. when I remember to. When I remember. Yeah. No, normally, when I see it pop up in my timeline, I'm like, fuck you. That's the reminder. <laughs> fuck you. You look at this man right here. <laughs> <laughs> great. Now, I now, our fucking oh, staff members now are getting into it now. <laughs> You got it in three tries. Yo, Damn. David, how many tries did you get? Three? Oh, okay, fuck. I uh, it, it took me four. <laughs> Damn, bigger brain. No, it took these guys for helping each other. Do no, it. No, no, they, no, no. they got a single letter for free. What, you, uh, what? He gave me A. That's hard. Yeah, he gave me M. Uh, no, I gave you M in the right spot. Come on, Jake. <laughs> oh, like sorry. He, like, he, like, didn't help. Come on. <laughs> oh, fine.
<laughs> I'm just like these these boys are cheating. This is this is this is an individual game. You know, it's, you know, you're not supposed to you should, help each other. Uh, you should play uh, Babel Royale. Have you seen that game? What's Babel that? Royale, Scrabble ba- Battle Royale. Oh just yeah, I've heard one. of it. Yeah, yeah. That one, that one's fun. I just what, really want. I, I just really miss playing Scrabble. <laughs> I never played. A game is that of Scrabble. boomer of me to say? I never played a game of Scrabble. You've never played Scrabble? No, dude. Never. Like you, like people keep saying, like, oh yeah, Uno is a friendship ender. Monopoly is no. Scrabble is the real friendship ender. You know, you know your friendship is fucked when you're fighting with a dictionary in your hand. Like that's when you know your friendship is in the dire straits. Right? It's like that's like, that's like oh okay, we got of, a problem here. There are a lot of like three and two letter words that you're like, this is a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when like you know, and then the argument always comes along of being like, well, if it's like a commonly used word that's not in the dictionary, is it allowed? Like, am I allowed to use the word yeet? <laughs> because you know, why is like a lot of points. It's not in the dictionary though. And then that's when the friendships just crack. Uh, we should do it on stream. I think I think vax and anti vax is in the. Uh, in the dictionary now. Yeah. There's a lot of points. Really? Yeah. Double X. Yeah. Double X there. It's a lot of points you can get on. Holy shit. V yeah. and an X? X. Mm-hmm. God damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like scrambling for those V and Xs <laughs> now, man. Yeah, oh, so are we points. doing a dictionary run or a non-dictionary run? Because I thought dictionaries weren't allowed in Scrabble. <laughs> you say it like it's a speed run. It's like a, a, a math thing, like a calculator or uh, no calculator? <laughs> <laughs> dictionary dic- run. That Scrabble dictionary run. Sorry, yeah. I'm only a dictionary runner. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the strats for a non-dictionary <laughs> run. Oh, no, dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> no, we should we should definitely do a Scrabble uh, game on uh, on After Dark because that uh, honestly, like, it's it's. It's legitimately fun. I'm not just saying like I'm not being a boomer here. Like it's legitimately fun. <laughs> you seem to like word games though, because I remember you I would, you with countdown was just like, yo, this game exists. Yo, how have I never played right. this game? It's before? like count yeah, like countdown I had a lot of fun in and now you got me into Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> it's all word games, dude. <laughs> I don't know, it's just something fun about it. But then again, like recently I have been getting quite boomer. Yeah, I did see your video, which yeah. is like, am I getting too old? And I remember seeing that and I'm just like, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. What are you, my comment <laughs> section? Yeah. He's 27, he's like, I'm, I'm dying guys. Shut the fuck up, Joey. No, no, because- I'm like, if you're old, Joey, then what am I? See, th- this is how you know these boys didn't actually watch the video. No, I, I, I did, I, I did watch faded. the video. I did, I did watch the no, video. No, because I recently got back into golf. Yeah. Um, and I was like, my God, that is the most boomer thing I've ever done. See, I don't, I don't think golf is a boomer thing. Man. You know, I, I feel like- It's a privilege I don't, I don't think it's, it's a difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a have, privileged boomer you, thing. Yo, yeah. if, if you're broke, you can't be playing golf. That's just facts. <laughs> that is true, that's it's true. It's just, golf isn't a boomer thing. Golf is just a, uh, you have a lot of disposable income kind of thing. I think it's just, yeah, but that's the thing, right? I think people, a lot of people mistake it as a boomer thing because it's played by a lot of people of the older generation, but yeah. that's because they have the time Time and the money now. Yeah. And also, you know, relatively speaking, golf doesn't really take as much of a physical, you know, tax on you as like yeah. say, you know, a rugby or a cricket, right? So but no, golf is fun as fuck. Yeah. I, it is. I, I was like actually properly into golf when I was younger. Yeah. Like to the point where I started getting like proper golf lessons and everything like that. Yeah, I went I went to golf camp a couple of times. You went to golf camp? Yeah. <laughs> when really? I was like, yeah, when I was like 10 years old, I like <laughs> during like summer holidays. What my is golf camp. It's uh, like it's literally just like think of you go and like you you stay over in like a, a golf club uh, for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. And every day you just get up and you just learn to play golf. What? Yeah, and yeah. I was, I think like 10 years old. And Did it's you like, like forget how to do it? No, I, uh, surprisingly, I, I kind of remembered it. Uh, yeah, because so you the, went yeah, to a driving range. I went right? to a driving range with Marky and Maylene um, because there was one like kind of nearby my house. Yeah. and. Um, it was a really fucking fancy one. Like I knew this was this wasn't like the you know the downtown alley like you know fucking we're gonna build this driving range here yeah. because there's nothing else around kind of thing because it's like you you literally got like a buggy service from the car park to the building <laughs> see, if you were far away. See, I, I, I feel like there's always like levels of like how into you, how into you are you into like golf, yeah. right? Because like I've never obviously I didn't come from the most privileged family, so like yeah. the, the only golf clubs I've ever owned were like a pa- a pair of like a, a set of golf clubs that I bought in a car boot sale for like 50 bucks yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You know, so I've, I I always went to like, or you know, the really cheap driving ranges and mm. really cheap, the really cheap of golf courses, but there was, those yeah. were still fun as fuck. Yeah, yeah. the ones I went to back in Australia were like still like obviously made in like, you know, it's like seventies and like eighties. So it's yeah. like, it's still very old. Like you, you get like a, there's just like this machine that you just like press a button and you put a basket under it and it just like shits out a hundred golf balls into a basket. Yeah. And then you kind of, you know, one at a 
time you put it mm. on the T and you like whack it off. This one we went to though, I don't know if all Japanese driving ranges are like this because this is the first Probably time I went to. Yeah, yeah. But like you walk in, I'd never seen like this many <laughs> polo shirts in one building. <laughs> and it's like everyone, but like everyone was like slicked hair, like really like pristine pants and everything. Like clearly yeah. like, I was like, oh, okay. We're in like a, like a, a nicer driving range. Yeah. And they like made us like make these like membership cards that you didn't even have to pay for. You mm, just like, right. you just, you were like, okay, the moment you're here, you have to make a membership card. Yeah. I was like, okay. So then you, and then you fill this thing up like a, like a credit card. Oh my you God, put right. like, you put cash into it and then you'd pay for the golf balls using your membership card. Yeah. But, and so like, because I was so used to the, you know, the pressing the button and then the ball shitting out mm, into a basket. Yeah. So I was like, I was looking for that machine, right? I was like, Okay, where where is it? It, it? it wasn't there. It was literally just like, it looked like a fucking ATM. And you'd put the card in and you'd be like, how many balls would you like? And I was like, a uh, hundred. And it's like, okay, go to this, you know, go to this field. It's like, where, where are the balls? Right. I, was, I was like looking around. I was like, mm. what the, what yeah, the fuck yeah, are yeah. the balls? It's like, okay, whatever. I'll just go to it. There's a fucking, you, you get to it. There's no T on the green. And I was really? like, yeah. And I'm like, there's no T, there's no machine that shits out the balls. I was like, okay, what do I do? And there's just like a little like, you know, in like golfing, uh, uh, not golf, uh, bowling alleys, right? You know, there's like the little tablet that you yeah. have yeah, that yeah, like yeah, shows yeah. the scores. There was just like that, but like a tiny one. Right. So I was like, and there's just one button that just says start. Okay. And I was like, okay. I press start, the fucking T and the, with the ball on top of it comes out from under the green. <laughs> Are you serious? It just goes, mm, what That's the so fuck? Cool. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and I whack it. Immediately, the moment I whack it, the T goes down, another ball appears in its place. Holy fuck, I've been playing- And I was like, this is the most five head, but why the fuck was I wasting my time? I was, play amazing. I was yeah. playing golf like a peasant yeah. this entire I was, time. I was being an idiot looking around like, where's the where's the golf ball shitting machine? Uh, Where I, is I, I don't- That makes golf sound hella fun. Yeah, so, yeah. It was so good. And then, and then you have like a counter that shows how many balls you have left. Mm. And yeah. if you say, for example, like, you know, you pay for a hundred balls, but yeah. you know, after a while, after you swing a golf club a hundred times, your arms and shoulders start to get a little bit sore, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're like, oh, you know, maybe I just want to like call it a day after 80 balls or yeah. whatever. So you just press stop, the money comes back into your membership card and then you can just leave. Fucking hell. That's and I'm like, this how, is much, how much is it like to do it? It was uh, 2000 yen, so about $20 for 120 balls. That sounds fun as fuck. Which honestly. is honestly not bad. Cause, like, like, yeah. cause yeah. like, I remember playing golf as a kid and it was like, I. It has the image of being an old man sport, but mm. it's like, I still think golf is boring as fuck to watch, right? Yeah. It's, it's, one, of, it's one of those sports where like- I I cry right yeah, now. I just, <laughs> it's one of those sports where I'm just like, I, I like golf, I, I, I get golf, it's, I, I don't understand anyone the, who the enjoys The only time I'll it. ever sit down willingly to watch golf is when I find a YouTube video on my recommender, which is yeah. like top 10 miracles during golf tournaments. Okay, and shit I, like I don't think playing golf is boomer. I think watching golf <laughs> is boomer, okay? I, I'm going to draw the line there. I'm going to draw the line there, that's okay? Fair that's fair, okay. that's fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I, I remember I was, I was like, actually like super, super into golf. I found it like super fun because I, I wasn't really, really the most athletic kid as mm. a kid. I mean, like I, I was like in the basketball team, but I feel, I feel like I got put into, put into the basketball team just because I was tall. Yeah. Uh, yeah and that yeah, was yeah. like the prerequisite. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I didn't really enjoy so much um, playing like really high intensive, high intensity sports. Yeah. But then I just really enjoyed golf because it was more of like just a relaxing, you just hone one skill. Yeah. And then there is nothing more satisfying than that moment where you just hit the ball perfectly. Yeah. Right. And you can tell you hit the ball perfectly because like sometimes you hit, you hit the ball and it slices or, you know, mm. sometimes it, you sometimes it veers to the right. And then you could just, you feel it in your hands because there's, there's like a vibra vibration yeah. in your hand where you, where you hit it a bit wrong. But when you hit it and you feel like it's like hitting air, you know it's what like I mean? It's like I'm hitting nothing at all. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> you're hitting nothing at all. I've right? never played golf. You've oh, never? Okay. Only mini golf. Okay, mini golf. I feel mini golf has its own. We fun. we need to go play golf. Yeah. We need to go play golf. We, Honestly, we should go to the driving range near my house because yeah. like that place was actually fun. Like I want to go back. Yeah. I I dead ass after that session. I looked at Marky dead in the eyes and I was like, where do I go to buy a golf set? <laughs> I was legit this close to just yeah. buying a golf set. Cause like I I remember the one moment that sold me on golf uh, as a kid mm. because. Uh, uh, I went to the driving range. Driving range is just fun because mm. you just fucking hit a ball and you just, you, it, you don't matter. It's just really satisfying yeah, hitting a ball, you know. Uh, I always wanted to. Yeah, but like on like, on like the actual golf course is where you have to take, you, you have to like actually think about what you're doing. Yeah, you can't man. just like blindly hit a ball. Mm. And I remember like I was, I had an instructor at the time 
And so like on the driving range and in golf in general, so if you don't know golf, there's like a set of golf clubs and that is numbered, right? Mm. So the lower the number, the le- the less- The sharper the incline is yeah, of the, the club, right? No, no, it's the it's less inclined. Oh, less inclined. Yeah, okay. yeah. So for example, like, like a, t- a two iron, goes almost straight, right? Yeah. So it's a lot harder to get the ball up and give right, it like right. airtime, right? Um, so for me, like like my comfort, my comfort zone was like a nice seven iron. I was about right. to say. It's, it's the, se- the seven it's iron. the seven iron. The seven iron, yeah. iron is like yeah. the comfort. The, yeah. The, yeah. the comfort comfort. Because like on the, on the driving range, if you want to feel like you can play golf, you get out the seven iron, right? Yeah. Because you can get a decent amount of air with a seven iron, like almost guaranteed. It's but like also, a perfect 45 degrees. Yeah, but also uh, like a decent amount of distance yeah. as well. So you could, you could feel like, yeah, I can whack a fucking ball. <laughs> Can whack a fucking ball. So like, so I remember we, I was on this golf course uh, with this instructor, right? And so, uh, and so how I uh, and so between me and the uh, the the flag, so basically the hole, mm. um, there was like this 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 hill, right? Yeah. And uh, on the hill was like a sand trap, right? Mm. So I need to get I needed to get enough air to get over the sand trap and also uh, onto like onto, onto the, the actual green, green yeah. right? I don't feel like I know where this is going. No, and and so and so, um, and so in my mind, I'm like, this is two shots. This is two shots, right? Yeah. Because I need to get over the sand trap and then another shot to get to the green. So mm-hmm. what happens? I pull out my trusty comfort seven iron, my my <laughs> my good old trusty seven iron, right? And and um, I'm about to hit it, and my golf instructor goes, no. You're not, you're not using that seven iron. I've been using the seven iron for the entire golf course. <laughs> and he picks out the three iron, right? Yeah. And he goes, use this. And yeah. he goes, I go, I can't use that. I'm not, I can't get enough air. I'm gonna hit the sand trap. And he goes, yeah. no, you can do it. I believe in you. And then, and then just like, and I just like, what? No, no, I, I can't do this. Like, this is this is three. Yeah. This, this, is, this isn't even a five iron. This is a three iron. And he goes, no, just do it. Just trust, just trust me, just do it. Yeah. And I remember like, it was, it was like, it was like, you know, being like when Neo discovered that he was the one in the matrix, yeah, right? Yeah. Because I remember hitting this ball and I couldn't believe that it, it just like, so this was the sand trap. The ball went here. It went just perfectly enough oh, over fuck. the sand trap and it perfectly landed on the green. Right. And I was just like, what is this feeling? Is this, <laughs> am I the chosen one? What is this? And I, I know like, I like remember that moment for the rest of my life because like that was the most satisfying shot I've ever hit in golf. And from that moment on, I was like, as even as a kid, I was like, I can see why people play golf now. Yeah, the I only can... thing that would have topped that experience is if your golf instructor in the Wii Sports voice was like, nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <cut>. nice approach. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it is a very rewarding sport. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like uh, all sports are. But, yeah, because uh, so like when I was at the driving range, cause it was fucking, I don't know, five, six years at least minimum since I last went to a driving range. I think it was yeah. in like high school last time I went. So obviously I was like, I knew, you know, basically like how to swing and everything, but I was fucking slicing that bitch like, like crazy yeah. every single time. And I'm like, man, what? Why am I slicing it? Yeah. And just like, it got to the point where I was like deadpan serious, just like slowly, like just fucking doing every single movement possible, <laughs> being way too serious about this shit. And I was like, and, and at one point I remember I was like, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I swung Lock and on. yeah, I locked on. I was like, this is the position right here. I just yeah. have to nail this. And the moment I got it, I think I nutted. Like it was, it because again, it's like, as Gan said, it's like, when you hit that perfect straight, like perfectly angled shot, yeah. you just hear the cleanest like whack sound yeah, and nothing else. But when you fuck up, you hear like a like a, it's like it's like a really like fucked up sound. Right? Yeah, it's like it's like the best way I can describe it. It's like you know when some F, when you play some FPS games and you get that headshot, right? Oh, and you, yeah. and like yeah. a lot of a lot of like FPS games have this like really satisfying sound when the you ding. get that headshot. Yeah, yeah, right? the dink sound. Like like golf just has that IRL. You know when <laughs> when you get that satisfying like perfectly like perfect headshot on yeah. that golf ball, it, it, it's like designed I, to I, have I, that satisfing sound. I, I want to go. It's just how do you get into golf? It's, not like a thing that- Well, you, okay, so I didn't have a, I don't have a golf set or anything. Yeah. Uh, Marky and Maylene does. Uh, but a lot of those places like driving range and stuff like that, they give you like rentals. Mm, yeah. um, so the only ones they gave me was a seven iron. Because of course. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. that just universal? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like the, you've never played, just yeah. use this. We'll, we'll start you off with a seven yeah. iron. So, they, so they, the, all they gave me was a, a driver and a seven iron. 
Right. I, like, were, uh, I like Happy Gilmore. That's a <laughs> <laughs> you got into the run up? Yeah. yeah. I was, I like, that's a good movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then you just like kind of just yeah. get a feel for it after a while. But it's. I think it's definitely best to go with someone who you know knows at mm, least yeah, knows, the bare minimum. Knows like how to how swing to a golf club. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. My brother played a lot of golf. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. He played like, I think he did like tournaments and stuff. Really? Yeah. But I, I never did it. I was always more into like stuff that was like way more active. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Like running or just head butting. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. I mean, I mean, golf is like monkey mode, but like it's controlled monkey mode because you just you just you just got to whack. That them. doesn't sound very monkey mode. What do you want to stop trying to describe golf in a way that I like? That's not how it you're is. You're just whacking a ball. I mean, how how that's not monkey mode. <laughs> no, just think of no no. The, the, instead of monkey so, so mode, think of it, monkey mode. Just you know, think you of it. Swing like in the wild. Just think of it. Instead of an FPS where you shoot someone in the head, it's like an FPS, but like the bullet is the end of the golf stick. And the ball is the head. <laughs> that's such a shit. That's that's all it is. You get the perfect shot, boom. Satisfied. You don't even need to sound me on golf. I, I want to try. This episode is sponsored by Boxer. Do you guys smell that? Smell what, Gone? Well, the smell of fresh spring air is <gasps> all around us. But God, we're inside. How can you smell the fresh spring air? Well, it's because I've got this awesome Sakura season boxer with me, Joey. How did that get oh! there? It's almost spring and you know what that means, gentlemen. It is the Sakura season here in Japan. Oh. And Boxer's got you lovely sons of petals covered with Sakura themed sweets for this month. Do you know what people in Japan do, Joey? What do they do? People in Japan celebrate Sakura season by gathering under a tree for Hanami, which is a what? flower viewing and enjoying picnics together. And luckily, gentlemen, with this Sakura themed box, you can have your very own Hanami at home. Tell us, Joey, what are you holding? Well, I'm holding some Kanagawa Sakura jelly. Ooh. Look how beautiful this thing Very looks. Wow. Wow. So gone. What are you holding? This is a Sakura sweet cookie. Look Ooh. at this. Look at That's this. That's so cute. Delicious. I know. Did you know that Sakura season is Boxu's most anticipated collection of the year? Mm. And if you've been waiting to try them out, oh. now is the best time. As you can hear, Gone is having the time of his life. Oh. So use our code Trash Taste 15 oh and God. the link in the description now it's below amazing. to save $15 off your first order. Go and get yourself a piece of Japan's freshest season season with the monthly boxer. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> Back to the episode. Have you guys ever been to any of the uh, batting cages before? Yeah. Yeah. I fucking love it. A lot harder than it looks. It yeah. is a lot harder than it it's looks. It's also a lot scarier than it looks. Yeah. Because yeah. even when you put it on like the slowest mode, I think a lot of machines throw it like 80 kilometers an hour and that's mm. slow. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, that doesn't sound too fast or anything. But then you remember that's like the speed that cars travel on some highways. And you're like, oh, that's that's pretty fast. I, I yeah. can hit a car with a baseball bat. <laughs> <I'm> just, <yeah. laughs> I, can't, I can't hit a ball. At what cost? <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> my arms will probably fall off. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah those, those things are fucking hard. I remember I tried to do the 120. Yeah. yeah. And I, out of like 20 shots, I managed to hit one. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't yeah. very good. It was- I was just guessing. It's, it's getting it's, used to the speed. It's yeah. got a lot harder learning curve than when you play in every fucking mini game <laughs> on like any any RPG, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah. like in like you play on like Persona 5 or whatever, you, you miss the first two what, shots. Baseball and Persona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can go to batting cages. You can go to batting cages. Of course, yeah, you can. Of, course yeah. of course. You can do homework in Persona. Why yeah. Why couldn't you like do yeah. like go to batting cages? But That's how you up your charisma, dude. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it actually? Yeah. Yeah. How does that up your charisma? <laughs> because the more shots you get, the more charismatic You're you get. You're so likable. Yeah. Yeah. It's board. like, damn, dude, you got 19 yeah. out of 20? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. This charismatic. boy charismatic as fuck. Like, what a weird way to define yeah. charisma. Yeah, but I remember like uh, you played on Persona or any mini game or fucking probably Yakuza or something. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and then you missed like the first two balls you're like, okay, I got a feel for this. Yeah, you start yeah. getting them. In real life, you miss like the first 10 and you're like, I don't even, I, I, I can't even keep up with this. <laughs> like my eyes still- no, no. In real life, it's not even like, it, you don't, you can't even attempt to swing after the first <laughs> yeah. few. Like the first few is like seeing how fast the ball actually goes. And yeah. by the time you realize it, it's behind you. You're like, yeah. oh. Okay, I'm gonna be here for a while. Yeah. And then maybe around like swing seven or eight, you're like, I think I have the courage <laughs> to start swinging. I could just never swing fast enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, my eyes were just were way faster than my arms. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I learned. I mean, I'm British, so we don't play baseball. Yeah, it's no, not no. a thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, Australia doesn't play baseball either. So like we holding a baseball bat was just weird and trying to hit a baseball. Yeah, but we play weird. cricket. We, I, I didn't play cricket. Well, well the Welsh and the British. I, I did not play any, no. I've never played cricket. You didn't cricket. play cricket? I played in the infield one time. I had to right. like catch it, but I never got to bat. But like everyone, everyone bats though. <laughs> no, but like, cause we were, when we were in school, we only had like an hour, right? Oh, so we, we didn't, 
We never played it that often. Right, did right, you right, never right. play it in like PE or whatever? Yeah, we did, but I, I was always in the infield. I don't know why. I don't know why. why? But, but know? like the team swap over. Yeah, I know, but we never had time to. Oh. We ran out of time. <laughs> So I, oh, I, we enough. never played it often because right, you know right. you have to do like every sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we didn't. We only did cricket often. I was never good at the team games. That's what I learned. I'm really bad at team games, mm. and we never did golf because that's like how are you going to get kids to play golf? Yeah, it's not. Practical. I mean, go golf wasn't like ne was never a PE thing. Yeah, it was yeah, more it was of like just like after. Yeah, after like a extracurricular thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but we did like um, I don't know. We we did like everything. What was your favorite sport during PE? I always liked athletics, and we did that. Like running, long jump, high jump, stuff like that. Yeah, or? javelin. Javelin, javelin. was really fun. Shot put was fun. That's because I was like a fucking animal. You seem like a shot put. <laughs> yeah, you, you, seem, you seem like a shot put kind of guy. <laughs> so really why did, that doesn't surprise yeah, why me. Does that, I, why doesn't surprise me? I, I, as much as I've tried my goddamn hardest, I can't like, I cannot run long distances. No. Right. Like, and no matter how much I practice, mm. I'm sure there's some god tier runner in the comments being like, "You just gotta, you gotta path through, man. You gotta hit that wall. You gotta keep going. Never stop. Get that pump on. You gotta breathe through your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, like I, I am a sprinter. That's what I always was. Right. And like whenever I, no matter how many times I trained, I just was shit mm. at doing long distance. Um, but I, I wanted my to so goddamn bad. But yeah. yeah. So I ended yeah. up just doing sprinting and like, like cause to Track me, it's like field. sprinting and like throwing and, and long jump is all kind of explosive. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for me, really yeah, for me, high jump and long jump was like the ones I excelled. I sucked. Yeah, high jump. long jump, yeah. long jump for me was the best one that I was that I, yeah. that I was in athletics as well. Yeah. I was just really good at jumping. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Still are, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, did you? Because uh, my school was really small. Yeah. Right? I've said this a bunch. So yeah. like, I was the only one who went to athletics after school. Like, because we had right. a, we had a local track that had been funded by the lottery. Right. So right next to where I live, there was just amazing facilities, mm. like amazing track, nothing like this anywhere else near me. Yeah. Like, cause this is just like unheard of. Yeah. It was like an actual good track. Yeah. So I used to go there yeah. and I was the only person in my like year who, who did this. So I was the only one who knew how to throw like a javelin, knew to throw a shot putt, knew how to do the long jump, like the correct way. Did you do discus and stuff like that? I, did, I didn't do discus. So, <laughs> so um, we were doing it and uh, every year we had the sports day, right? Yeah. Did you have to do, to the track and field, yeah, 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 yeah. And you had like houses, yeah, like Gryffindor and shit, yeah, like, yeah. like your own version, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I was in like, I was in like the house called of Scissors in Welsh. Scissors, scissors, it was just scissors. Uh, that wasn't rock or paper. That was just scissors. So it was like scissors or something. Yeah. And um, <coughs> did you have? How did you decide who does the events? How did you decide this? Uh, uh, basically, it was just like, if, yeah, it was like, would you like to go to if, this if event? If there was someone who was obviously the best at an event, they would be like, well, you're-, you're Oh no, for us, it was just like, you just put your hand up and it's like, who wants to do the hundred meter sprint? And then everyone who wants to do it puts their hands up. And then if yeah. you didn't want to do it, you didn't want so to do it. So if there was too many people, how did they decide? Like, oh, everyone did it. Oh, hey, there was no yeah. limit? Yeah, well, I mean, oh. to be fair, my school as well was also very, very small. Oh. Like we only had like, you know, 500 people in our school. How many people were in your, your grade or year? Like. 60. Okay, so yeah, it's about the same for me. Yeah. And so they there was like only two or three people were allowed to do each event. Yeah. Right. And for the first few years when I did it, there was no limit on how many you could do. Mm. And so I was just like, I'll just I'll just do like everything. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, I liked I loved sprinting, I loved racing as well. Yeah. So I would do like, yeah, I'll do the hundred, two hundred, four hundred, <laughs> long yeah. jump, the triple jump. Yeah. Javelin, shot put, and it was fun. It was good because there, there was some people in uh, my, cause was, we only had like groups of like 15 of us. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. That's how it was split. And there was like half of them that were like, I don't want to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh no. great. Well, there I'm, always was, yeah. Oh, for, for, for me, uh, you had like a maximum of four, but like everyone did like four or something right. like that. See, so, so then it, there was one year where like I did the 100, 200 and I'd won all of the events, but one. Mm. And so I was like, oh, this is fun. I won like six out of seven events, and yeah. like, and then yeah. the next year they were like, "No, no, you can only like do you want yeah, you can only do three now." And I was like, <laughs> "They why? just nerfed you." I was like, "Why did you nerf me? Huh? That's not fair." <laughs> but this is this is the thing, right? Is that I'm sure if I went to any other school where people like knew how to do like throw a javelin correctly mm, yeah. or like jump correctly, because like this is when like long jump, everyone was still doing the jump where you like just jump, yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah. the one where you jump into a sit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was really easy to like do better. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, once yeah. you yeah, I mean same with like a uh, high jump as well. Right, like, if you knew yeah, how to do the it, jump. Yeah, everyone just like did did like the, you know, the standing scissor kick. 
yeah. in like way, but like I was doing the full like fucking arch back, like yeah, yeah, know, yeah. torpedo jump. Right, and then you're like, oh my God, this guy's a god. Yeah. Like, how can, <laughs> the other kids can't compete yeah. if you're yeah. like actually doing yeah. the like professional technique. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, of course you're only gonna be able to jump like a meter. You're, you're fucking doing this. Like, <laughs> uh, the scissor kick? Yeah, oh, yeah the scissor yeah. kick. Oh, it's so like, funny. yeah, of course. I couldn't do that though, I was terrible. I, I, I was really fun though, I, mm. I really liked it. Yeah, I mean, when you're winning, of course you like it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I thought that would make me popular. It didn't know. Yeah, that was yeah. That well, was. Like during elementary, I was like dominating long jump and high. Jump. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I did. Joe turns up. Yeah, guys. Yeah. I'm here. I, I d definitely did not make me popular. If anything, it just gave uh, people more cannon yes. fodder, yeah, yeah. right? To be like, oh, your name's Joey, <laughs> and you're you're good at jumping things, <laughs> I, <laughs> just like a baby kangaroo. I never fucking heard the end of that. I, I, Christ. <laughs> One time, <laughs> I, I just How felt like you I, just, I, just felt, I just felt like I just saw your soul just leave your eyes, like like years of like torment just came rushing <laughs> back there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, I uh, one time, very very tense moment. Yeah, right. I just I just won the hundred meters, mm. and immediately after they were like, "Let's do the two hundred meters." They didn't think, "Let's space it out." <laughs> Right, so I was absolutely right. naked, yeah. yeah, and I was lining up for the two hundred meters, and I really, really, really wanted the win. I wanted this more than like anything. I don't know why I was so mm. ultra competitive. This is like the Olympics for me. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I need this. I was so goddamn nervous that like I was like, what is this? I felt like a little little drizzle go down my leg. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I was so nervous that like I, for like a brief moment, yeah. I peed myself, <laughs> like zero point one seconds, and I was like, stop. It's like a little beep. Yeah, it was like a little beep. And I was like, that's never happened before. What was that? <laughs> Fuck. Luckily I, but you know, I didn't, I didn't give a shit that I peed myself. My uh, priority was like, no one else saw that, right? No yeah, one else saw that yeah, drizzle. Yeah. But luckily I, would, I was so sweaty from the previous event still that nobody had thought that I pissed myself. You just myself. like shake it off. I was like, I was like <laughs> just shake your leg. <laughs> just like, right, let's get back to it boys. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to it and then yeah, I won, but I really needed the piss after it. <laughs> My bladder, it was sick. Have you ever been that nervous? Your bladder just completely opened? And no. Just yeah, I've, I've had that before. Bro, Has that yeah. happened? Yeah. Dude, trust me. It, I've it, never been yeah, I didn't know happened. that could happen yeah. until it happened. I've, I've done okay. the little like doop before. As I was well. like, oh I God. Yeah, <laughs> during, I, had that, I had that during, I had that before like a really important like piano competition. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, and, uh, it yeah. happens. But, what, but at least, but like the, the problem was I had it a lot worse than you. You probably wear like nice because pants. I was wearing a suit. No. <laughs> oh no. I was wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah. That shoe and just you, came out. And you were already sweaty, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like in a well air conditioned room, like long pants. <laughs> like in a suit <laughs> with like all these like really properly dressed like Asian kids next to me. And I'm just like, oh, oh fuck. Could you see it? Could you see the pedal? Uh, luckily not, but my God, it was it was hard to use the pedal while my leg was also a little bit wet. I was like, oh God. I Damn, how God, far they, did the stream get down? Did it go all the way? Uh, like almost my knee. Oh my God, that's yeah. not right. That's, that's they they missed this thing. fucking scene in your life in your line in April. Where's <laughs> yeah. that, that when they're fucking waiting? <laughs> when, when I love the chapter where Corsair pisses himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you're a kid, you get anxious. Exactly. I, I also used to try- I felt really bad for the kid who had to follow after oh me. Oh my God. Cause I'm like, oh I, didn't, God. I didn't check, but I was like, I'm sorry if the seat is a little there's wet. A, there's a wet patch. Yeah, there's right a wet there. patch on you're that like, seat right oh there. That seat is warm. God. I fucking <laughs> nailed the competition though. So worth it in the end, but I, I was- So did you win the 200 meters? I did, I did. And I was also so competitive uh, to the point where, I don't know if I can do this now, yeah. mm -hmm. but when I was a kid, when I was running and I thought like, oh, I really need to stop. Mm. I just wouldn't stop. And I would always end up throwing up when I stopped. <laughs> when I stopped. You were that kid. You, you were the kid who just threw up everywhere, always. <laughs> because right, to me, it was like, I was like, no, I, I need to win. Like I have to win. So like, if, if there was a like, a, like I'm at the last stretch yeah. and I still got a little left in me yeah. and I'm like, I can't stop now. I need to throw up. So so one, one year, um, this is again, so I, I was doing like six events and I'd won the 100, I'd won the 200. And again, right after it, what comes after the 200? It's the 400. Yeah. Cause it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. You sprint at the end, you kind of run fast at the start. Well, why yeah. would they not split it up? I, they were, it was, it was a school. Cause, they, cause they, at our school, they split it up. Yeah, I think I think they might have assumed that uh, different people yeah, would be yeah. doing right. different events. I think they assumed people would do different things. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I would get max like two minutes break. Yeah. yeah. So I was doing the 400, right? And I was already like, before I even started this race, I remember I was like, 
Like, yeah, cause I was already yeah. still knackered from yeah. the other one. And I was like, how the fuck am I gonna win this one? Yeah. And so I'm in, I'm in this race, right? I'm a, I get to the 200 meter mark, right? This is where you're like, the on switch has to come on. Yeah, 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 you have yeah, to yeah. start sprinting. Yeah. Cause like, I'm, I'm like kind of like, I'm in the middle. I'm not really in, I'm kind of, I got a lot of ground to make yeah, up because yeah, yeah. I was going a little too slow. Yeah. So I just start going crazy, man. I, I get like to 50 meters and I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> on the side, on the side of the racetrack, <laughs> right? Luckily it's a grass racetrack. So yeah, that yeah. shit's just extra compost. Yeah. And I, luckily I was not, I was not in the middle. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. was, I was on the, I was in the first lane. So I just, I, I'm like 50 meters into the sprint. I'm going all out and I just have to, I just have to <laughs> and, and it became a, I became a bit of a laughing stock for the rest of that, that day. That would have been amazing to see. I was literally just like powering through like a machine and then just like had to just start vomiting. It was oh, awful. Oh my God. Cause I just didn't know my limits as a kid. I just didn't, I just didn't like, yeah, uh, my I, willpower was just beyond my body's <laughs> ability apparently. But it happened all the time during long distance as well. I always threw up. Yeah, what, like what? I, I, I sucked at long distance. I think mostly, yeah. most, mostly because I have asthma, so yeah, I could only oh do like two hundred meters at most before like my asthma would like start to kick in. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. It was rough, man. Long distance is horrible. Yeah, yeah it is because it was really muddy and freezing. It was always during winter. Did you do? Yeah, it yeah, winter? yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a real masochist to enjoy long run, like long yeah. running. Like it's like, why would you? Especially people who do it for like club activities and stuff. Mm. It's mm -hmm. like, what do you do after school? I, I run. Yeah. yeah. Why? Uh, did, <laughs> because. So did they make all the kids do it when you did it? Yeah. No, yeah. no. so like if kids, so basically kids could opt in and out at our school. So oh, you couldn't opt out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, every, really. every kid needed to do an activity. Yeah. You know, they, they uh. you know, you, you didn't have to do like a certain, like, you know, a certain amount, but you needed to do at least one. Oh, no, oh, no. no. Was, there, was, there, were, there were some years where I was just like, I don't want to do anything what? today. Dude, when I, for my school, it was like, on this day we're doing, we're doing, Two kilometers, mm. you have to do the two kilometers. Oh, fuck that. You no. have no choice. We had we had other events for that right. kind of stuff yeah. where like your kids had Are to Are you do talking it? about PE or sports day? PE. Okay. No, if it's PE, then yeah, if we're doing oh, an activity. Sorry, 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 sorry. If it's PE, if, no, if, if it's there's PE, an activity, everyone has to do it, yeah. uh, you have to do yeah. the activity. Yeah, because I remember that like, they would like get really angry at the kids that were just like walking yeah. long distance. They would shout at them and be like, the fuck you doing? What's this like fucking army? Yeah, right, right, yeah. basically. Like the SAS or whatever. Yeah. How many, like, so, because like we had, at our school, we had like, I think like four different sports days or like four different. What? Yeah, what? We, we had, had one. Lot. So we, we had the, we had the track- and Winter Olympics in Australia? Yeah. <laughs> no, we, so we had like a track and field day. Yeah. Right. And then we also had like a, sw what we called the swimming carnival, which was, we went to like our local swimming pool oh, you and we would swimming. do like oh, swimming so like events. Uh, yeah. We, 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 we got we, we got one sports day in the year and it was yeah. like every kid field. every kid really? looked forward to it because it was just basically a day off from school where you just do yeah, fun yeah, stuff. Yeah. Right? And then, yeah, and then yeah, you could just sit on the grass if you yeah. didn't give a shit. And then, we yeah, had yeah, a, yeah. and then we had another sports day uh, where we did it on the beach. So we right. you do what? like, you know, like beach flags and like, uh, you know, like you'd like races, like a thousand meter races on the that. beach and yeah. stuff like that. And like surfing events and stuff like yeah. that. And that was just like another day where like, if kids didn't want to do it, then kids didn't have to oh do it. And gosh. then we had a fourth one <laughs> during the winter. And this was the worst one. It was called, uh, they don't have it anymore, but uh, it was called the walkathon. And <laughs> walkathon. Yeah. So it's think of a, like a marathon, right? Which is yes. like 42 point something kilometers. Yeah. It's that, but you can walk it if you want. So basically it was, it was basically, Jesus we start from Christ. the school, you'd walk 20 kilometers across like seven or eight beaches. Cause that was like the area we lived in. Right. And then you'd turn around and you walk all the way back to the school. What? And you'd have to do that during the day. What? And, uh, and I think they got rid of it because no some, cause I think some of like the higher grade kids were just like calling Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> I would, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that Yeah, shit. because like you, you, cause like when you, when you reach like the halfway point, you'd yeah. get like a sticker like put on your like wrist. So like yeah. that's how you know when you came back to the school that you made it to the halfway point. So it's like, that was their like foolproof way of making sure you did the whole thing. Speedrunners be like, I found a, yeah. I found a clip. Yeah, I, so found like, a cl I found a clip, I found a clip. It's, so it's the, the Uber glitch, yeah. it's the Uber glitch. So, so what the senior kids would do is that like they'd walk away from, you know, they do a, like, maybe like the first kilometer. Yeah. They'd like walk into a street, call an Uber, <laughs> get them to drive to like a kilometer away from the halfway point. And they just like come out being like, oh, hey, I made it. <laughs> and then they do it again. Brain, and uh, but, but I think they got rid of it because uh, like kids were cheating, but it was also like a charity event for the school. Right. Uh, so like you had to like, you know, you had to pay like, I think it was like a dollar per student or yeah. whatever for like pay this charity. To walk 42 pay kilometers. to walk 42 kilometers. Fuck I mean, that. for some kids, 
kids, it was like, oh, fuck yeah. We just have to walk today. Don't have to do class. Hell yeah, yeah I'll take that. Did you ever get uh, told off in school for stuff you did outside of school? Uh, like, uh, like as in like in the school grounds or no, outside school out, grounds? outside of school. Like what? So like the area where I went to school was like really small. Mm. Yeah. And like, I was, I was like, I don't know how old I was. I must be like 13, 14. Yeah. I was like, there was like a bunch of like ruined castles mm. where I grew up. And one time I was like climbing the wall of this castle. Yeah. And a teacher happened to be walking in that park right. during the day. Right. And she just saw me, she didn't say anything, but I was just climbing it. I was like, having a great time. Probably wasn't the <laughs> safest thing. Right. Yeah. Um, it was quite high up. And then I came into school the next Monday because it was on like a weekend. I got bollocked by the fucking teachers. <laughs> They told me off <laughs> and I was like, I was so confused. I was like, this doesn't, you, it's allowed. It, it was outside of school. What? And they were telling me off for climbing this wall outside of school, not even anywhere near school. I don't think, I, I was think like, we had anything. Snitch. Yeah, I don't think we had anything like that because nah. like, cause, I, cause the, the town that I grew up in was like, it was, it was small, but it was also quite wide. Yeah. So like, uh, yeah, I don't think I ever saw my teachers outside of school. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I was in like Hove on Brighton. So, it's, you know, I mean, that's that's like a city. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I don't think people cared about. Did you guys have like, did your schools have any rivalries with like yeah. we other were, schools? We were attached to another school. Yeah, oh, we had like you? a sister school mm. as well. So like ours, the school I went to was the boys school. And then like at the bottom of the hill, there was the, the girls school, the sister right. school. We were like physically, our schools were, physically attached. Oh, oh no, no. Well, so like was, they, but they were different schools? Yeah, so you could walk into the other school from oh, our school. That just sounds like a bad time. <laughs> that sounds like a, did, That like, just sounds like fights. Yeah, 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 were, were there a lot of fights yeah, that happened? Yeah. 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 It was like the corridor like, where like the walls <laughs> were like different colors. After, like there was like, a weird <laughs> line, right? So that's where like, if shit went down, it was always like at this like, it was like the, the DMZ in like North Korea. <laughs> it was like- <laughs> Oh my God, standing on the board. <laughs> it was like shit went down. So the reason why this this weird like it sounds really bizarre, right? Yeah. yeah. So we were a Welsh speaking school and we were really small. And yeah. the one we were attached yeah. to was a massive English speaking, really fucking big English speaking yeah. school. Because our school was too small and like poor to have our own like sports <laughs> facilities. Right. So that that school also had this massive uh, sports like kind of complex attached to it. Right. Swimming right. pool. Tennis, uh, like massive sports halls, AstroTurf, massive fields, tennis courts, everything, mm, right? Yeah. They had everything, like rugby pitches, literally everything. Mm. Um, and so our school would basically share the facilities with them. Mm. Right. So whenever we needed to go to use the, the pool or anything, we always walked through this school. Right. Yeah. Went there. So we could walk through their school, but they couldn't walk through our school. <laughs> Because our school was on the edge. Why, right. why would the, like, I'm, I'm just imagining like the architect of that building just being yeah. like, this is gonna be hilarious. It's weird, yeah, it's weird. Cause like- <laughs> They just wanted to make a fight club yeah, between yeah, the kids yeah, because was, of yeah. course kids are gonna fucking fight each and other. And there was right? like, there was like, there was like, uh, there was that corridor and there was two outside gates that also connected that were pretty big. Oh so whenever God. it was like snow or anything as well, yeah. that would turn into like the fighting zone. Yeah. I, I just remember the story of like going back to the, the teachers getting angry outside of the school grounds. Did you guys ever used to do like PE activities outside of school. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah you'd yeah, go yeah. to another yeah. place. So like one of the ones that we did uh, quite often was cause because our school was right next to a beach. We did mm -hmm. a lot of like ocean kayaking, oh, wow. um, which was like really fun, right? Like you just like through two or three boys at a time, get on a Sounds kayak, dangerous, you know? It, oh yeah, it was very dangerous. Um, but- Damn, a kayak, he got a kayak. Got yeah. to do well, kayaking? We, I, I got to go kayaking. You guys got to go kayaking? Yeah, yeah and sailing. What the fuck? Yeah. What, sailing? Yeah, no, we had sailing as well. I, had, I learned how to sail. God, I'm so, I'm so jealous. <laughs> But like the, I remember there was I one story for that. There, was, there was one moment in kayaking. It's it's such a bad story. Oh, yeah. But uh, there was like because we were on Manly Beach and mm -hmm. on one of the thing uh, and one of the beaches because uh, it's like a bay basically. So right. it's surrounded by these cliffs and there's a lot of like really like pristine like penthouses mm -hmm. that are like kind of overlooking the bay if you like kind of look up at the cliffs. Uh, <laughs> there was this one time where some uh, we were just kayaking along the bay. And then one of the boys was like, Oi, check it out. So I'm like, what? And we look up and there's just like a chick standing like in a bikini, just like looking down at us. Right. And uh, you know, she, she was a very attractive lady. Right? <laughs> and we were, you know, we were like in 11th grade. So we were like Let's 17, 18, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So basically- I'm one about of, to commit yeah. misogyny. So one of the kids was like- <laughs> Sorry, I know what he's gonna say. So one of the boys just starts going, 
Tits out for the boys. Tits out for the boys. Tits out for the boys. <laughs> and that then, sounds like the, the most Australian kids fucking. And then, yeah. and then, and then a couple, and then a couple of the other boys start joining along. Yeah. Tits out for the boys. <laughs> and then before you know it, there's like there's like 15 kayaks, like 30 <laughs> boys in this oh bay, just go all going. Tits out for the boys. Tits out for the boys. The thunder joke. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was like a scene out of Mad Max. <laughs> It was fucking crazy. And then, of course, the girl flashes. Everyone goes, yeah! She did it? <laughs> oh what? my God. And the teacher, and of course, and of course the teacher we had that day was a female teacher. She was oh like, God. what the fuck are you boys doing? <laughs> <laughs> and we just like, and we just bolt in our kayaks, just like get away from the seizure. We got absolutely rinsed that at is the end of the most teenage Australian boy story I've like ever heard. Yeah, yeah, this is what, this this is what happens, happens in a like boy only school. Tits, tits, tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, I just, how, I just remember that. How, for some how, how Joey didn't turn into r slash nice guys? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I, uh, <laughs> Joey I hate to admit, I did god. join in the chant. Oh my god! Oh my god. Just from peer pressure. Joey committed misogyny. I committed misogyny. Around. I'm sorry. <laughs> they didn't let you do anything like that. No, I mean, uh, like, I, I, I wouldn't trust a kid out in the sea. I, I, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised how so other people did. We got to go to. Um, Little areas in Wales that were mm. like kind of like camps for like three, four days. Mm -hmm. And um, they were basically like, they would be like, listen, boys, we got a, we can do kayaking or you can do sailing. Problem is we only got six sailboats and we've right. got, we've got the, everyone else can do kayaking, like 30 yeah. kids. And I was like, well, shit, I want to, even though I didn't really like sailing, I didn't mm. know anything about it. I was like, well, that's the one that has less. I want to do that. Yeah. Right. So, I, so I put my hand up to do it and somehow I got chosen to do it. Mm. I did sailing. I fucking loved it. It was amazing. But they gave us those like, um, you know, boat plastic, like really cheap boat plastic, the mm. one where you like knock it and it sounds hollow. And yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, really, yeah. it's really coarse as well. Like it's basically like a, a, a boat that was a shell of plastic <laughs> with a, with a like a, what's it called? Is it a hull? Uh, what's the thing that goes through the bottom? Not a rudder. Uh, uh, it's the, uh, sail. It goes <laughs> in the bottom. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't remember. I forgot yeah. what it's called. So you just have this slab of plastic you put in to allow you to sail, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we learned how to sail, and it was great. And uh, yeah, it was really good because, like, talking about the mast. The mast. The mast. No, 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 no. I've never sailed before in my life. Mast was so this no mast idea. was at the front, and then it was one where you turn it, and then they're in the bottom, underneath the water, you slide in a thing. Not the rudder. Not the rudder. I'm oh, I'm not, I don't know. It's a sailboat. So you you do, you you didn't do the direction with the the you did the direction with the sail, not the like you'd pull on the sail. Yeah, you pull like on that, the sail. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You lean. It's yeah. like so it was really cool because like mm. you'd be doing like badass shit. Like you'd be yeah. leaning. Yeah. Half the boat would be out the water. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, 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 onto yeah, the yeah. sail. Dude, it was so fucking. You're cool. like horizontal on the water. Just drifting. You just yeah. drifting. <laughs> Dude, like legit. Yeah. Is it the keel? Maybe I don't know. Either way, so yeah. and then you would like you'd be taught like okay, let's say you flip your boat. Here's how you jump out the boat. Jump on the piece of plastic outside the boat. Push it down. Jump yeah. back in the boat and get it back right, in. Right, yeah. right. So fucking cool. I loved it so much. I got really good at it. And then the head guy was like, you know what? Every 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 year or so, the kid gets really good at sailing, and I, I let him try the the real boat. And I'm like, oh shit, really? And then so he like out of this like really gross looking shed in the water. It was yeah. one of those sheds that was like right. kind of there's no floor. Yeah, it's yeah. just for the boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. He pulls out this massive catamaran, massive. Yeah. Right. Bear in mind, I've been in this like one person boat. Yeah. This thing could easily fit like four to yeah, six yeah. people right. on it, right? He's like, go take it out for a spin. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. This looks fucking scary. Why do you say it like the rich uncle who owns a Ferrari? Yeah, like, yeah, let's right. take it out for a spin, boy. It felt like the, the, the sword in the stone test. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see if you can handle this one, <laughs> right? So I start taking this thing out. It's going well. I'm yeah. managing it. Mm. It's a lot harder. You have to run. You have to like get across way more, a lot mm. more, really full body because you got to really like get under. Put your put your body yeah. weight. You really got to yeah. like throw yourself around on this mm. thing to yeah. steer it. It's going well. It's going well. Suddenly we get a big gust of wind, and I'm trying my goddamn best to save this. I'm trying my best. I get to the side. I'm trying to like I'm trying to unleash the mass so that we can get some like we can get the boat back down. Right. Unfortunately, the boat just keeps going. It keeps going, and then it does it. It gets sideways right, completely. Right, right. From from this point now, this boat is too heavy. Unlike the other boat, right? My body weight could shift it back. Yeah. I, my body weight can't do shit. Yeah. yeah. And it is literally like the sinking boat, like Titanic. It is just <laughs> like, I'm sitting on the top of the boat, like at the top of the yeah. boat, just slowly, slowly going down, going down <laughs> until it gets about the halfway point where it won't sink anymore, right. luckily. Yeah. 
So I'm just sitting there and then he, he comes over disappointingly in like the speedboat and he's like, I see. He's like, he's like, well, the, he's like, you want the chosen one. You are not one. the one. Yeah, he's, like, the one. he's like, I see. He's like, well, at least help me tie this, tie the rope around this part, and I'll yeah. turn it back over. And then he got on the boat, and he was like, I'll show you how to drive it. And I was like, <laughs> I let him down. I let him down. He sailed it back, and then I was like a disappointment, and I was never allowed to try it again. Wow. <laughs> there was a fucking. I felt like that was a look, look in I'm, hindsight. I'm, I was like, I that was like ridiculous. That was, I feel yeah. like that was a big step. Up. A big jump. It yeah. was yeah. alone as well with a catamaran. You can normally have like two people on. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. It's the big one with the big net, you know yeah, what it yeah, is, yeah, right? Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. It wasn't like a full-sized massive one. It was like yeah. a smaller mm -hmm. version, but still it was like- God, I'm so jealous. I never got to do that in my school. And we, we live on a fucking, we live yeah, in Brighton. Like, you live in Brighton. Yeah, why, yeah. Why, why, like not well, even it was, in a, it was in a lake and a river. So oh, okay, it's a lot okay. easier. It was a really big lake, but right. yeah. don't, you wouldn't want to do that in the ocean. In the ocean, I was- no, 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 that's so dangerous. Like, you get yeah. swept fucking away. In this lake, you would just get hypothermia, that's about it. No biggie. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there was any like big lakes near us. So we didn't really do any water sports. I think the most we did was just, we had like a, we had like a swimming pool, a in local swimming pool. What do you mean? There's lakes everywhere. <laughs> I know, I mean, we, we not, not like how, how far did you need to drive to get to this lake? Uh, two, three hours. You drive two, three hours just for this that's one? That's like the entirety of Wales. That's like, that's like a, that's, that's like a fucking school trip for us. It was, yeah. it was, oh, yeah, oh. it was like a, it was a three day weekend school trip. Oh, Ooh. you made it sound like it was one afternoon. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you no, made it sound no. like, oh yeah, we uh, this is uh, for this one yeah. lesson in no, PE. No, I said three or four days, three or four days. Oh, okay, okay. No, because like the kayaking thing for <laughs> us was just like down the road. Oh, no, 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 this like, it's like, so there's like areas in the, I'm pretty sure it's funded by the Welsh government. Oh, yeah. Basically like, basically every Welsh school gets like a weekend there. Oh, right. okay. So everyone gets to have turns. So these like, oh, they're like okay. really fucked up. Oh, yeah, that like, makes more sense. Yeah. So like, yeah, there's like a, you know, it's it's kind of like a thing you go, it's like, hey, try a bunch of different sports, try kayaking, try uh, canoeing, yeah. try sailing, mm. wall climbing, like everything. Just yeah, try and yeah, do everything yeah. and see what you like. And so it was really fun. And I, I'm glad I got to do it. I wish I kept up with sailing, but unfortunately, Sailing is a, a very luxury sport to be able to do. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like, oh yeah, you can just go sailing. It's yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> it sucks really. Cause I feel like there's so many sports out there that I could have fell in love with, mm -hmm. but the financial stability <laughs> of like, yeah, I guess that's most- The absolute of economical state. I mean, that, that, that was, that's me, like, that that's was like me every and, sport ever for yeah. everyone, right? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly. like, that was like me and skiing and snowboarding. That's why I never yeah. was able to get into it. Cause uh, yeah. my family, unfortunately, could never afford to go on a skiing or snowboarding yeah. trip. It's either not enough money, not enough space or both. Yes. Well, I, I'd love to, I've, I've been skiing and snowboarding like the majority of my life and I would love to earn a snowboard or skis, but it is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Yeah. to deal with transporting it yeah, and, and taking yeah. it everywhere. And exactly. I also, it's really expensive. <laughs> it is expensive, yeah. I know that you can ship it from hotel to like- God, you sound like you had such like fun school trips. Well, like yeah, you, you, you went to like, like America for a school trip. Yeah, and like, yeah that, fucking... that's fucking crazy to me. Well, that was that was insane. That was like the first year they did that. Yeah. And that was really expensive as well. I remember I had to like beg my parents and they were like, because our school wasn't okay. that rich. Like, I think I think the richest thing that our school did for the rugby team, because yeah. we like excelled in sports at our school, was like the senior rugby team was allowed to go to like play uh, rugby in Europe for like. Oh a wow. wow! Yeah, but like that was only like the select, like maybe like you know top twenty people who were like yeah. good at rugby. I can't um, even remember what we did for our school trips. There must not. The have rest been. of the time we I just went to like <sighs> the local water silo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, some, some, I, something I, boring. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't know if this is just because like it's a really small <laughs> place, but I imagine that when you're in a city, it probably feels like less inclined to get you out of the city. Mm. Mm. Whereas right, when right. you're in the countryside, there's nothing, right? So I feel like <laughs> they had way more pressure to yeah. try and get you to do something, yeah, right? Yeah. Especially because you know, in at least sport uh, in Wales, like sports is like a massive deal. Mm. It's yeah. a very important part of like the, the culture, and doing sports is seen as a very, very like you have to do it. Not not doesn't matter what you do, just do sports. Like it yeah. seems yeah. like thing you got to do. So you know, there was a really big incentive for them to make us go and do sports and go on sports yeah. trips and do I all think this. The kind furthest of stuff. we ever went in a school trip or anything was like during like school camps. Yeah, but that we did every year, but and that was like maybe like you know four or five hours away, yeah. which in the grander scheme of Australia is not far at all. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't I don't remember like going on like school excursions, going further than like an hour away. 
Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think the furthest I ever went for a school trip was like France. It was because every school trip goes to France just, for like- Well, you're, Bri you're in Brighton, yeah. it's fucking Yeah, yeah, easy. exactly. <laughs> yeah, at least so you, just, fucking, you yeah. fucking Europeans got to go to other countries. <laughs> that was not in and well, for yeah. us. Uh, yeah, other countries are like, don't exist <laughs> yeah. in Australia. It's like, oh, what's the closest country? Uh, Papua New Guinea. How far away is that? Uh, like a three hour plane ride. It's like, like your, own, cool. your own country is like far away from your own yeah. country. You we, know? Couldn't even, we didn't even get to go to the other states. <laughs> no. Like, no, that's too far. Oh God, God forbid, we're gonna be on a plane for an hour and a half. No, of you course probably, not. You probably had better school facilities though than we had. We got, we got to go on a trip and they were like, yeah, just forget about the fact that you have to share a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, no, I mean, even then it was like, you know, like school, like school camp, for example, it was like, yeah, I guess, you know, everyone got their own seat on the bus or whatever, but like, that was the most we got. <laughs> we got that, we <laughs> they got, got your own yeah, seat yeah. on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> what privilege. <Yeah. laughs> well, okay, what were your, I, I didn't get school meals, but like, mm. were, your, were your school meals good? What did you get? We didn't, we didn't get school meals. There was no cafeteria? There, there was a cafeteria. Yeah, like, what did they serve at the cafeteria? Uh, the um, most like luxury thing ever was uh, this was fucking, it was just a chicken, two chicken tenders in a in a bread roll. <laughs> <laughs> that was legit. See, 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 and that was, that shit cost $4.50, dog. What? See, yeah. see to, to, to me, you knew the kids who were eating goods, uh, yeah. well, who were the kids that could afford a ham and cheese panini. Like oh if, if it was ham and cheese panini. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got a fucking panini, dude? Bro, they gave you more than, they, they just called it bread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was all we, everything, everything was bread. For us, it was literally just two fucking microwave chicken tenders in a hot dog roll. And then if you wanted ketchup or mayonnaise, it was available for you for like 20 cents. Oh my God. But even dude. then it was like, cause so like I never bought anything at the, at our cafeteria just yeah, because right. I was like, I'm not fucking, it was way too expensive. 50 for a chicken I, tender roll. Like that's I, ridiculous. Yeah, this, this is where uh, child Connor really learned inflation. <laughs> uh, this is where it really came to hit me. Yeah. Cause right. I remember I used to have this, I was always given the same amount of money from like the young age yeah, to yeah. spend at the cafeteria. And I remember like when I started high school, I could get any of the meals. Yeah. They weren't amazing meals. By the end, I literally couldn't buy any of the meals yeah. unless I like had half a meal the day before yeah. and then saved and then, and then yeah. Like, I think- Why like, did you not renegotiate with your parents? Be like, <laughs> like, like because mom, the, dad? The, their mindset was like, well, your brother managed completely fine through high school with this much. So why, 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 why do you have a problem? Well, yeah, because I think in my household, like I, I got allowance for doing chores like per yeah, month. Right. And you know, it was like maybe like, you know, 20 bucks max per month, yeah. right? Yeah, Which, yeah. you know, to a 10 year old is, is, is a lot of money. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, when your school at age 10 gave you fucking meat pies for like a dollar 50, mm. you know? And like, you know, those like fucking squeezy ketchup packets. Yeah. Yeah. Those were 20 cents. And I was like, dog, I'm not paying 20 cents. I'm not paying a literal 100th of my monthly allowance for a little fucking squirt of ketchup. Oh like God. I'm not fucking doing that. You guys like, didn't have packed lunches? Uh, like then I, I, had, yeah. I had to have packed lunches for most of no, the no, days. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. like most of my days for yeah, me yeah. as well was like packed lunches, right? Because my, my mom was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm yeah. not giving you fucking money. Yeah, 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 it's all that expensive shit are you Because for me? me, like my allowance would like last the entire week and then I'd treat myself. To the yeah. ham and cheese panini. That was that was that was like the Friday meal. That okay. was like see that was, see that you did it the smart way. I I was like <laughs> you know what I could buy that chicken tender roll, but I could also buy this Yu Gi Oh booster pack. As well. Okay okay okay. <laughs> I was gonna say here's what I did. Yeah. Right, I would uh, I'd get so I get two pounds a day. Yeah. Right? right, which was like I could buy one meal if I waited like a day mm. and like I had something small. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, but I actually want video games. Instead, so I would go into the town, which is like a twenty-minute walk. I would go to the the it's called Home Bargains. Yeah, in the UK, it's like a pound land or whatever. Yeah, I would buy a family bag of crisps, like twelve pounds <laughs> for a pound. Yeah, and I would just eat that the whole week. This is awful. This is pretty wild. That is the most <laughs> British thing I've ever heard. So I would you, just, were, you were I, rationing on chips. Yeah, so was, you, you were just on a crisp diet <laughs> yes, as right. a kid. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was on a crisp. Because, right, a video game back then was 30 pounds, Yeah, right? right? So if I, if I did this for a whole month, I got a new game. 
yeah, yeah. Sure, my mom was wondering where the fuck I got this game from. <gasps> oh, she didn't dude. even know that I was getting, a, I was eating crisps. It was probably an awful <laughs> thing to do with my body, but I didn't care. I was like 15, I wanted the video game. You see, you had <laughs> so much more of a stronger willpower than me because like I could not <laughs> save money for that long. I could, I did, I, if I, I, had, the, I, had, the, I had the I had the object in mind. I was like, I want yeah. the new Halo game. I'm not eating. No, dude, in my head, I was like, every time I went to like an electronic store and I was like, oh, the, <laughs> new, the new Mario Party on Wii is out. How much does it cost? Eighty dollars. Oh. I'm like, okay, I could save up four months worth of allowance to get yeah. it, but my birthday is also in seven months' time, so uh, maybe I could just like hint at it now mm, and then yeah. just wait seven months for me to actually get the game, <laughs> which is what I did. Yeah, because yeah, for me, like when I wanted to buy a video game, like I, I grew up in like like when I was in school, I was it was like the N64 SNES era. Yeah, no. and like games back then was like sixty pounds a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for like a cartridge game. Wait, was before, it really? Yeah, yeah. Wait, it was. So it like halved? Huh? It like half? Yeah, like I, I remember when like when like games started coming out on discs. I'm just like, why is it so so much cheaper now? What the <laughs> hell? And the graphics are better. This is what what kind of hacks oh, did they PS2 put in? PS2 was like mass producing those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that makes sense. Man. Yeah, so like back back in those days, like there was no fucking way I can afford like a cartridge game. Yeah. Like the only times I was getting new games was like Christmas and birthday. Those, those were yeah. the two times of the year where Same. I got games. And like, I, I was praying that I could like, I, I was praying that my parents bought like the right games every time, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, mother, I have waited an entire year. Yeah. If I don't get at <laughs> least three games, I am going to rage. <laughs> when I turned like 16, they were like, we want you to have a bit of an allowance so that you can learn how to manage your money. And I was like, yeah. oh, thanks. And I was just thinking like, I've got a lot saved already though. Like, oh, I, no. I was like, this is just adding to the wealth. This is how I become Jeff no, Bezos. I think, I think my parents thought the same way, but only after they found out that I got rejected from my McDonald's job. So they were like, you, there's no saving you. We'll, we'll up your allowance so you don't end up being a bum. The more I think about it, the more I was like, yeah, I don't know if I was always gonna be that kind of way with money. I mm. don't know, I wonder, is it like, yeah. I, I do? I guess you have to teach your kid how to learn, how to uh, manage money. Yeah. Like sometimes I see videos, people like, nobody taught me how to manage money. I just spent it all when I was like 20 and stuff. And I'm like, oh. I you didn't. have to do this. Oh, <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> by, the way, by the way, a uh, very, very, very British thing. What, what crisps do you reckon I was eating, by the way? Walkers? No. Oh, that's too expensive. Uh, Quavers? No, think, think cheap. Think, think cheap. cheap. What's a cheap brand? Don't look at crisps. me, man. I you, you are, you are. No. Yeah. This is for very British audiences right now. I, I don't know. I'm just going to hit you like a wave. Discos. Okay. Oh my fucking <laughs> God. Okay, okay. I completely forgot that they even existed. I haven't had disco <laughs> since like my- uh, yeah, <laughs> You're like 12. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how, how, did did I reach double digits for the last time I had disco? Like, I can't fucking remember. Uh, they like the cheap shit chips. Yeah, they yeah. were like, Weirdly good, but yeah. there was probably so much like MSG and shit. In yeah, yeah, oh, they yeah, were really yeah. tasty, but <laughs> they were weirdly like super cheap, like yeah, compared yeah. to all other chips. But they taste really fucking good. Really, That's really good. good. Chris review. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Bookwalker. What's up, my beautiful book loving brethren? We're Trash Taste, and we're here to introduce to you Bookwalker. What's that? Oh, you know, just one of the most popular ebook stores for English manga and light novels out there. On the app, you can read official ebooks directly from the publishers themselves, meaning you don't only just get the newest releases for oh. manga and light novels, but by doing so, you also support the original authors as well. Oh my God. Oh my and if you're new to the platform, you should check out their limited time deal where you can get up to 50% coin back on the total amount from your initial purchase. Wait, that's a huge bargain. You mean I can buy all 34 volumes of Attack on Titan and then I get back 17 volume worth of coins to spend on other eBooks? That can't be right. No way, no way. You are exactly right. What? And if that doesn't sound enticing enough, for new users, you can use our coupon code Trash Taste at checkout. You can save $5 Ooh. on your first purchase. So what are you waiting for? Sign up to Bookwalker for free today and enjoy some of their generous discount promotions, coin back campaigns, and digital bonus items for free today. So check out their service by clicking that link in the description down below. Thank you to Bookwalker and back to the episode. I've always had like, because, I don't know if it was just my school in Australia, but like, you know, when you watch like American, uh, like high school movies yeah. and mm -hmm. that had like the cafeteria, like yeah, the cafeteria yeah. where there was like the lunch lady and there was yeah. like, this was like the serving of the day, you know, mm. kind of shit. Like, I don't know why, did, did you look at that and go like, I wish I had that in my school. Well, I, th I, I think Americans wish they had that in their yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like, cause I remember like watching American high school movies and I'm like, damn, I wish yeah. my high school was yeah. this cool. Like every Simpsons episode I, yeah. I watched and like Bart was in the cafeteria. I was like, man, that's, that looks fucking cool. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> Does every American school have that? Lo and behold, I know yeah. not every American school has yeah, that. Yeah. I was just shocked that everyone had cars. <laughs> That's what blew me away. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like a 15 year old kid, and it's yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I'll pick you up tonight. I was like, it, it was like, do you mean was, your parents are gonna pick you up tonight? Yeah. Or I don't know what was going on in the 2000s, but like every single thing, it wasn't about like if you had a car, it was like which car you had. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, what do you? What, you, you all have cars. It's like it's like what? yeah. It's like well, oh sorry, I'm gonna go pick you up. In when my when mom's did you guys car. first like learn to drive? And did you, did you learn how to drive like immediately when you could? Or did you- Yeah, like when I- Complicated story. Oh, for me, it was story. like the moment you hit 16, what's you can com What's complicated how about it? <laughs> how, what, how did this be complicated? So I started learning how to drive when right. I was uh, 17, which is when you did in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what sucks is that because my birthday was in July, which is the end of the school year, people who, who started in September had already like way past got their cars and were driving. Wait, the school yeah. year ends in July? Oh, sorry, ends in September, sorry. September? Uh, no, it starts in sorry, September. Sorry, starts in September, ends in like August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if we're talking about that. Wait, when does yours? It's January. What? Your school year starts in January? Yeah. What? It, it ends in December, starts in January. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so wait, wait. How do summer holidays work for you then? Summer holidays is December. But then when do you get Christmas holidays? So you end, so uh, actually it technically starts in February. So okay. we end school middle of December and then you celebrate Christmas and holidays during holidays and then mm. all of January is summer holidays. And then you come back in so February. How long do you get off then? During summer holidays? Yeah. Like depends on the school, but like usually like a month and a half. Oh, cause oh, we, okay. we get like two, nearly three months. Cause it's pretty much the uh, first half of August is when it ends, right? Yeah, yeah. And then- Well, are we talking September. university or are we talking like secondary? Secondary, secondary school. Both are the same, right? Ish. Yeah, for us, it was all the same. No, no, no. In university, I, rem I remember in university, you get like fucking three months off. And those were like, those. Were, right. that was like before that, like school holidays for me were always, the summer holiday was six weeks. It was always six weeks. Winter oh, holidays, yeah, winter holidays was two weeks. Yeah. And then we'd have like half terms where you'd get like, where you'd always, where you'd get like one week off like halfway through the term. Spring and autumn holidays. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, all together, we got like, we got, we must got like about around two months of holiday that was spread yeah. out. And then like university here. And I remember thinking, yo, what the fuck? We get three months off for, for like, for, for, uh, we get three months off for summer. Why am I even going to fucking education yeah. anymore, man? The, um, the first time I experienced the first like summer holidays in uni, I was yeah. like, well, See you at university <laughs> never again. <laughs> I remember That's when yeah. I, I remember when summer holiday started in university. I'm just like, well, I'm just not going to go back to uni. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's three months, yeah. right? That's like you know, you know when you it, can't imagine did the end of summer long, holiday. Yeah. yeah. But, um. But yeah. So the point point was that yeah. basically kids who were born in September. Mm. Uh, sorry. Oh, fuck. What am I saying? I'm checking my ass. Kids who had their birthday like in my year, mm. who were like really close to the start of the year. Yeah. yeah. Basically got to have their license and already had it. Right, and at the like cool, right, yeah, yeah, the cool yeah, yeah. shit. Um, and you were right at the end. Yeah, so, oh, they, right. yeah, so they were in yeah. my year, because it didn't matter if you were the year above, because yeah. you weren't friends, right? Like, yeah. Even if I was closer in age, technically. Mm. So like the, the people who got it first were like the coolest ones. Oh, yeah, Because yeah, it was course, like, yeah. every, everyone was like, oh, can, can we give me a lift? Oh, oh, can go here, yeah. you know? oh I'll drive you there. It's like, fuck. Yeah. Wait, Cause, so, cause, so is that, is that, wait, so, so like for, for in the UK, you guys have like different stages in your driving license, right? Like you have like learners. Yeah, with like provisional, provisional, provisional stuff like that. Yeah. So when you're on your first level, like when There's you two first- Yeah. So you, you have it or you're yeah. learning. Okay, so when you're learning, can you just like drive by yourself? No. No. Okay. No, you, you, you have, have need, to have need, someone in the passenger seat, right? There needs okay. to be someone who supervises yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Supervises you and has how many years of experience? So X amount of years right, driving right. Yeah. and you can't go on like the highways. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So like it's only until you're provisionals that you can drive by yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, but yeah. Not, the problem is that you, normally not that you can't find someone, it's that you can't get a car. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you need to be insured. And that was what the hard part was because insurance for, for like a 17 year old is you need to be insured? Yeah, you, you to need be to be insured. Yeah. No, I could, I could just use my mom's car. <clears throat> no, you might have had it, family insurance. Oh, yeah. maybe I don't know. But like, but like, if yeah, even if if you are under family insurance, your price gets like tripled. Right. If you have a, like, if you have a seventeen yeah. year old on your license, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, insane. Okay. Like, yeah. the reason why it was just like no one owned a car except for a few people yeah. was because the the insurance cost was like triple or quadruple the car. Yeah, right, right. The yeah. car was nothing. Like mm. my mate got a car for like a hundred quid mm. off some guy. Mm. 
the insurance was like a thousand plus. Yeah. So it was like, Jesus. It's, yeah, it's, yeah it's it, was, so, it was more cost for the insurance than right. the car itself. But lessons were expensive as well. I yeah. did lessons, my brother had already passed and you know, so it was my turn. Mm. I was doing it and it was going well. And then every now and then the, the guy would just kind of call me up because I was learning through just a guy. Mm. Yeah. That was how you mainly learn in the, in, at least the countryside in the, mm. in the yeah. UK. And he was he, kind of flaky. He would kind of like, he wouldn't show up sometimes. And then sometimes he would just stop. Mm. And then I'm, I'm about, I want to say two thirds away from getting my test. Mm. And he just calls up and he's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I've quit. I'm just not doing it anymore. I'm not doing, <laughs> I've, I've decided that I don't want to do wow. instructing uh, people because the costs on the car are too much and stuff. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, well, so I thought, oh, it can't be too hard to find another one. My mum just could not find another instructor because mm. they're all booked up because there's not many in my this area. This is during yeah. your learning stage, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Normally like the, they get booked up pretty quickly because mm. there's not that many because yeah. it's not very profitable. Mm. It's yeah. really like doesn't make much money and it's a lot of work um, and it's a lot of upkeep on the car as well. Yeah. yeah. So he, he did that and, and then I couldn't, I couldn't find one for like, I want to say right up until like three months before I was leaving for university. Mm. Right. So I had to get back into it. It'd been like a, six, seven months, because I couldn't mm. find anyone. Yeah. Started doing it again, and I was kind of getting okay at it, and I was maybe like, I don't know, I want to say like 10 lessons off doing the test. Mm. Right. I'd go to university. Right. And then I just didn't do it. Yeah, of yeah. course. Because I was busy having fun. Yeah, because yeah. like, and you don't need a car in university. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. And, um, you know, I <clears throat> didn't have my license, and then it became something that I was kind of like, okay, don't really want to do this anymore because it's mm. kind of in the way. And yeah. It's a really pain in the ass and I have to start from zero again. And if I did do it, I thought, oh, I'll do one of those like, cause you can do like week intensive course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. you just drive for like eight hours a day. Yeah. And then you do your test and hopefully you pass. Statistically, they're like the worst drivers. Yeah. Uh, but you know. Cause uh, you're basically speed running yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I, you know, I, I'd gone through all of uni, never did it. And at this point, like in the UK, you have to have two things, a theory test and a practical test. Yeah, yeah. Theory is really easy, but it only lasts two years after you've done it. So mine had expired. Right. So I had to go and do it again. Right. Yeah. So I was in London and I was like, oh fuck, okay, I'll go, I'll go and get it. I'm gonna actually learn to drive. Yeah. And then I booked one of these courses that was like really expensive yeah. for like five days. Yeah. And their like promise was, you will guaranteed get your license by day five. <laughs> and anyone who says guaranteed, guaranteed, yeah. guaranteed, guaranteed to get a that's license, flags, that, that's dude. sus as fuck, man. Yeah, that is sus flags. as fuck. So I, I started driving yeah. uh, and I had this guy and he was Welsh. And I was like, oh great, he's Welsh, he'll be really nice. I he, can bribe him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he wasn't my, he wasn't testing me, but I was using right, his right, car. Right. And you're also allowed to use that person's car for the test and stuff. Right. You know, he was really good. He was nice start, you know, he was like, oh, you're Welsh, good, good. I like Welsh people. And we were both in London. So it was kind of like, oh, nice, nice. He was really weird. Uh, <laughs> he would also take any opportunity to insult women drivers. <laughs> he, would, he was really weird. I'm he, about to commit misogyny. Yeah, yeah, he literally, he literally, <laughs> Every car just passed, tits yeah. out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything would happen. And he would be like, fucking woman driver, innit? Fucking woman driver. And I'm like, I was like, it's who get I? And he was like, oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? It's really uncomfortable at times. He would yeah, say yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And also he would sometimes, you know, cause you were, you were in the car for like six hours, seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, you talk about life and stuff. He would yeah. bring up some things and he'd bring up some of his, his views on the world <laughs> yeah. that you'd be like, yeah, 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 terrible, <laughs> really terrible. Yeah, Ooh, really yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, situation. Can't stand it. <laughs> we're parking by the way, we, <laughs> where, are we, how long, where are we going? <laughs> my, my, my dad, uh, uh, my dad as well kind of has like that weird, like he creates these like stereotypes out of nowhere when it comes to like driving. Yeah. It, it's so weird. They now that, now yeah. that I think about it, I'm like every time, I remember there was moments where like my dad would be driving. My dad will say he doesn't have road rage. He absolutely <laughs> fucking has road rage. Like I, I don't care what he says because every time, I remember like every time, He'd be on the road and there'd just be like someone who's like taking him off for whatever reason. He'd be like, oh, fucking, fucking move. And then he'd, you know, get into the lane, look him dead and like do the Luigi death stare yeah. at him. And they'd be like, oh, it's a fucking Volvo driver, isn't it? I'm like, I don't think <laughs> every Volvo driver- yeah, yeah, yeah. All dads do I'm this. Like, I don't think yeah. every Volvo driver is necessarily a bad like, driver. Like BMW drivers yeah. or like the <laughs> massive dickheads. I'm like, well, I'm like what, what is your personal vendetta against Volvo? Yeah, cause, cause like, I remember like the, one of the biggest stereotypes was like Asians are like bad drivers, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And like, I don't, I don't I don't think necessarily Asians are bad drivers. I think Asians just drive by the rules of their own country, exactly. which is just like a fucking free for all. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember because like, I remember when, uh, when I first learned how to drive, I didn't actually first learn how to drive uh, 
in the UK, yeah. right? So I, th I believe oh like- God, God yeah, turns yeah. up in the UK like crazy taxi. <laughs> yeah, so, so what happened is, um, so I was like turning 17 that year. So I could I could uh, learn how to drive in the UK, but yeah. I believe in Thailand, like uh, you can like start learning from like 16. I'm not sure if that's, I'm not sure the exact age, <laughs> but, but, like, but, but I, uh, I remember I could legally get lessons to learn how to mm -hmm. drive. So I was just like, right, why don't, why don't I get a head start on learning how to drive before I start driving in the UK? So, yeah. I, uh, so I start learning to drive in Thailand, right. in Bangkok, right? God. Um, and, um, it's, and like the, it's like the dark souls of driving. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the dark souls of driving. So like I take a few lessons there and yeah. I get, you know, I get pretty confident in driving mm. in Bangkok with Thailand rules, yeah. right? So, so uh, you know, I can, I can competently handle a car and uh, definitely competently handle traffic, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, and so I remember uh, I, I go back to UK and I turn 17 and I sign up for my first lesson. Um, and then uh, I, uh, so the instructor turns up and uh, you know, we just have a casual chat before, before we start driving. Um, and uh, then he asked me, oh, do you, have you had like any experiences or did you like use your provisional license or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, uh, I've actually, I have, I've actually like learned how to drive in Thailand. Like I, I said this like with confidence, like I know how to drive <laughs> a car. He's breaking it. Yeah, I know how to drive a car. I've, uh, <laughs> I've started to learn how to drive in uh, Thailand, you know, I've, Pretty confident on Bangkok roads, so it's you know. Like, I, could you repeat that? Yeah. And so you know, so, so you know, I so I'm pretty confident about it. Yeah. So so he's like, oh, okay, okay. So let, let's let's get, let's get this first lesson started then. Mm. And so immediately, I just drive off, mm. and he goes, "Stop! You've immediately failed." <laughs> Because I didn't oh check, God. I didn't check my mirrors. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, that, I know they they do this to be like they they, they just want you to do it. I, yeah. I understand, but yeah. like that that the guy who I had right when I was doing yeah. this, it's like. He couldn't just say you did something wrong. It had to be this whole ordeal where he was like, that was a really good turn for a bitch. It was, you know what I mean? It was like, nothing could be, every single thing had to be packaged with an insult. It was like, yeah, yeah. that was really good on the roundabout if you wanted to kill someone. If you're a woman. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, you didn't check your mirrors? Like a woman. Yeah. Like, like, he would do this all the time. It was so infuriating. Yeah. Cause I was just trying to get good. And every single time I'd be like, how was this? He was like, that yeah, was great. If you want to kill someone, Connor. Right. And I was like, <laughs> Just tell me how it was. At least, at least for you, it was just like not checking your mirrors. Like my my my, my no. uncle failed his first driving test because he was like, "All right, get in the car, check all the mirrors. All right, let's drive off." And it's like, "Stop! You've immediately failed. You oh, drove no. out the exit." <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's no. like, oh, all right. So he literally got in the car, two and didn't even make it out of the driveway, and he was yeah. like, "You've instantly failed. Come back tomorrow." Yeah, because yeah, well, sucks. They make you do it, don't they? Yeah, you, because like I remember when I learned how to drive in England, I basically had to relearn driving yeah, from yeah, like yeah, what yeah. I was taught in Thailand. Because in Thailand, they they teach you like awareness and control, but uh, like like vehicle control. But like in the UK, it's all about here's the procedure: check mirror yeah, A, yeah, check yeah. mirror B, check, check your I, blind spots. Yeah, yeah, check yeah. your blind spots. So I, 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 I get it, but like in in Thailand, it's just like uh, you you must learn to become super saiyan ultra <laughs> instincts. This is how you just, drive. This is the best way to take a hit from a car. <laughs> <laughs> if someone hits you on the head, this is, yeah. this is how you curl up this correctly. Is, this is how you take the least casualties. This is how to inflict maximum damage on an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I, I, I did this five day thing, right? Where yeah. we were going through it and I had this guy and it was kind of a slog. And I remember I really didn't like doing it because mm -hmm. the guy was like, not, he was not fun. Yeah. And also driving in London sucks. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like, it's a going slow simulator mm. and stopping, waiting, giving way to people. Like just, it, it's not like driving outside of the, the London, like at all. It's, yeah. it's completely yeah, different. Yeah. So, so I'm doing this and- uh, It's not like get, driving in Wales, definitely. No, yeah. we get to the fifth day. I'm like, so ready to like book the test? He's like, no. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you're not ready yet. You're not ready. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like five days guarantee. What do you mean? He's like, you're, he's like, you're gonna fail right now if you do it. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, well, wh what do we do then? He's like, well, sits back like, like, like loves it. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, I'm like, he's like, yeah, well, you know, you could, uh, you know, pay me in cash and I'll give you uh, some private lessons, you know. And I was like, oh, oh. God. I was like, oh. I was like, oh. I was like, is that, is that okay? And he's like, yeah, it's okay. According to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was like conveniently like really expensive. Oh wow. And, oh. But I was like, but I was like, well shit, I need him to say yes yeah. so that I can because yeah, they, they, yeah, won't, yeah. they won't do it without him saying so that. You yeah, literally yeah, yeah. bribed him. No, so, no, 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 he he kind of blackmailed oh, him. Blackmailed yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no choice. Yeah. I, I can't do the lesson without 
him agree. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh. And I was like, well, when do we do it? Because I kind of wanted to get this over and done with. I got to go to America in like a yeah. week. I mm. wanted to like get this done. And he was like, oh, um, well, are you free tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, I'm free tomorrow. And he was like, all right, well, meet me in this this car, car park tomorrow and we'll do like three hours and then we'll see how you do. Yeah. So I, I pay him an extortionate amount of money mm. and you know, and then we do the three hours. Like, all right, now you're ready. And I'm like, yeah, about oh, yeah, 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 yeah. right. Of course. Of course you're ready now. I was like, you probably just let me drove around for three hours so it isn't illegally a bribe or something. <laughs> so um, we, he finally does it. And uh, the way that this works normally in the UK, if you want to test, I don't know how it is in Australia, but you have to wait like a month. Yeah. If you oh yeah, 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 yeah. But because uh, I don't know how they do it, but this, company has like an in with the government where basically like if anyone cancels they get all those reservations oh okay. so you basically have to just be ready right and they'll be like are you free tomorrow to do the test yeah, yeah. right so that's what happened so i i i, I said yeah, i'm ready to get the test and then like one day later they were like come to this place at this time uh the teacher will be, will be there mm. and i was like oh shit this is fucking nerve-wracking now so we have I'm to go <laughs> to like for all of our tests you have to go to like a, a government certified like road and maritime services like, oh no we did oh, we okay. did, we did. Yeah, yeah. Right, right you have to do it as well like, you go to a dvla thing yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. We, so i go to this building and it's like the the official government building is above a like a salon <laughs> like it's in this re really weird like beat up room. It's just one room. What? And like there's like seven other people in here. Yeah. And I just turn up and I'm like, what the fuck? It's so weird. Right. It looks like some government building. It, yeah. it like doesn't look, it's just above like a, a salon and a chicken shop. <laughs> so I go in and they're like, did you park the car? So there's no car park in this place either. Right. You park on the street. Right. Oh. So I'm I'm parked on a hill upwards. Yeah. Right, right, right. And so I'm on like a right before like a- Well, like you're a, a manual, right? Yeah, manual, yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm parked on a hill yeah. right before a roundabout yeah. and it's a really busy dual carriageway. Yeah, yeah. This oh, is awful, God. right? That's like nightmare fuel. This is yeah. literally like yeah. the worst, worst possible start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm bricking it and he's and this guy can tell I'm, I'm freaking out because it's a horrible start. <laughs> yeah. So if you let it roll back at all, like yeah. you, you fall down the hill, you, like you a, fail. You fail and you yeah. fail. Yeah. Yeah. And normally like most driving like things, you might not even have to do this thing yeah. when you start from a hill. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, shit, I've, because my instructor decided to park here, this is where I had to stop. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, fuck. So, so you know, I'm doing it and I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm nearly fucking, I let go of the, the brake and I'm just not moving. I'm luckily yeah. maintaining it. And I slowly start to creep and then this fucking lorry just goes down and like goes past me. I'm like, ah! I'm like freaking out. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like holding on to the clutch, like yeah. not letting it go. Cause I don't want to go and I don't yeah. want to fall down. Yeah. And I'm just like sweating and he's like, mate, calm down, mate. What are you doing? Just, just don't worry about it. And I'm like, like proper London. And I was like, yeah, oh yeah, thanks man. I'm real calm now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily I get going. It's really easy. You know, and everything's going well. And this guy looks like he's falling asleep. He's literally like this on the, on the window. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I did a thing where I thought I failed and, it, and I was like, oh fuck, I was freaking out because I thought I failed halfway through and I go yeah. to the end. And um, yeah, I passed. I did like one minor mistake. That was all I had. Don't know how, because on the way to the test, I ran a red light. I did all <laughs> things wrong and everything went terribly. And then, um, yeah, weirdly at the end of it, my instructor came at the guy who was like really weird. He came over and he was like, I thought you'd failed. And I was like, why would you say that? Why would you? <laughs> He's like, you know how I knew how I thought you failed? And I was like, how? And he's like, you know, when the guy opens the door before he gives the news, it's normally a bad sign. I'm like, why, why? Why would that be a bad sign? Why does that make any sense? I don't understand. What, so he can run away? Why is he like trying to like so, psychoanalyze it? It's not like a dickhead as yeah. a fucking well, instructor. Dude, he was a dick, bro. <laughs> I, I had a really, I, I had a really nice instructor. He was like, he was like a, he was like a proud dad. He was Aww. like, I knew you'd pass. I knew. But the thing is, the my thing dad is, was my instructor. Your dad was your instructor. Yeah, because in Australia, you don't. When you're on your learners, you don't have to go to lessons if you don't want. No, to. you don't have to in the UK. Either. Yeah, it's yeah. just like my parents. Didn't so my parents are like, no, that's fucking expensive. You're not going to lessons. My, my dad's like, son, I'll teach you. And I was like, dad, you are literally the most crazy fucking driver well, I've known. Yeah. yeah, because most people when they drive, they don't drive like how they 100% should. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. My parents wanted to teach me because they were like. We're probably not doing some things right ourselves. Yeah. I was like, Dad, we're we're in an eighty zone and I'm doing a hundred. Is this okay? And he's like, <laughs> No, son, that's what you're doing. And he was like, and he's like, No, it's like, no, everyone else is doing it. They can't arrest all of us. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's fair enough. That is, can, I, can I do this in the test? Yeah. yeah. Like, can I do? No, don't do it in the test. But you'll be right now. Yeah. Driving is way more fun when you pass your test because you're yeah, like, yeah. okay, I can kind of like relax. It's like, oh, I this can... is like what it's like driving stressless. Now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. I actually remember the first time I was like in the seat of a car actually. So um, 
in the driver's seat of a car was actually uh, when I was about like, I think like 12 or 13. Mm. So like, I, I remember like uh, there, was, there was one day where I think there was like, like a friend of a cousin who was just like, you know, he was like very rich. So he, they like their family owned like a lot of land, right? right? right a, okay. a lot of land. And so, um, on some of this land that they owned, right, um, they let they let this kid they let their kid uh, drive around like drive around like a drive around a car. God, it was it was like a beaten badass. up car, That's right? Badass. It was it was a beaten up car, Hell yeah. right? Um, and I remember going to this place once, and I was like, and he was like driving around his field. And I was like, dude, this is badass. Mm. And he was like, you want to go? <laughs> want to go? And I was like, me, <laughs> me, twelve years old driving. A car. Am, I, am I allowed? To, can you even see out the front? Uh, am, I, am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to do that? And he yeah. was like, yeah, it's private land. It's legal. It's legal. And, uh, and I was like, this twelve year old knew the concept of private land and legal. Like, oh yeah, of course. Look at Article thirteen forty nine. Well, that's what that's what, his, that's what his dad told him. Of yeah, course. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so like, and so I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I go in the driver's seat and I and I start like fucking shitting myself. Oh like, yeah. Because I'm because I'm, I'm just like I'm I'm in a fucking car. All choice like a twelve year old. Yeah. <laughs> As a twelve year old in the seat of a car, it, it doesn't matter if you're like driving a jeep or a mini. It's like fucking operating a Gundam. Like it's, oh no, it it, it's it is terrifying. It is terrifying. Yeah. And so I remember the first fucking thing I did, and he he was just like, "Oh, just uh, just tap the pedal a bit, right?" <clears throat> and as as a twelve year old, I don't know what tap means, right? <laughs> and so I'm just like, I go, I go what I think is like. Uh, is I th I, th I thought tapping it was going fifty percent of the way down. Yeah, you do, you do, you do. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm going to tap this. I'm not going to put it all the way, <laughs> just half the way. Like immediately, we all start I spinning. I put it half the way, <laughs> and I immediately crash into his gates. Right? Oh no! <laughs> Luckily, it's like an old wooden gate, yeah. and it's like in the middle of fucked up, but like butt fuck nowhere. Yeah. Right? But like immediately, I smash into this gate. Right? <laughs> And I, I start freaking out. Yeah. And he was like, all right, get out of the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. <laughs> and like that, I, th I think that put me off driving like for, for like, well, obviously I was scared of the concept of driving oh, just yeah, from that, of like, like that one experience. I think I remember now, yeah, like, the first time I ever got in a car seat was probably around that age as well, like 12, 13, yeah. when we went camping. Yeah. And like, you know, because you're in a camping field, right? Not a lot of like, and especially when you're in a big camping field and there's no one else there. It's just mm -hmm. a lot of like really empty flat land. So my dad yeah. was like, son, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna take it for a spin? <laughs> and I was like, sure dad. I get in the, and I get in the seat and in my head, I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be easy. There's literally nothing around except one tree. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but like, and, and like any any person will tell you, it's like, just don't go towards the tree. Just go to <laughs> this entire open area where there is nothing. And in my head, I was like, okay, just don't go over to the tree. What do I do? Immediately go towards the tree. <laughs> did your dad not like pull the wheel? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was like, son! <laughs> Wait, did, like, you, did you hit it? No, I didn't. Oh, Luckily, shit. oh that... my God, dude, I wouldn't be alive if I hit the tree. Yeah, I think my dad would kill me. Yeah, my like, dad would 100% uh, kill yeah. me. <laughs> but like, yeah. I, I don't know what it was. It was like in my 12 year old, stupid 12 year old head, in the entire time I was like, don't go towards the tree. Don't go towards the tree. My hands were like, go towards the tree. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, it's like a homing missile. <laughs> <laughs> it's like target locked on. <laughs> I uh, accidentally flipped my friend's quad bike over. Oh my, that's dangerous. Yeah, fucking that hell. was dangerous. We were riding quad bikes in like the mud and I was like, this yeah. is the coolest fucking thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm, you know, I was like 12. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he was, I, he was like, don't go too fast though. And I'm, I'm, I was like a danger kid. I was just like love going too fast and yeah, shit yeah. like that. And uh, yeah, I think they also call that an idiot. Yeah, no, that was an idiot. <laughs> Listen, I should have been. I should have yeah. won a Darwin Award. Yeah, that yeah. Day. and so I'm, I'm like fucking mm, this fucking quad yeah. bike. I start doing like uh, donuts with this quad bike, mm, right? And then yeah, it just flips over, and I flip in it. But I'm so small that yeah. like I, I like get down in the arch and like when I fall to the side, I like, don't yeah. hit my hit my head or anything. Oh, like, I just fall head. over because like yeah, I think like quad bike accidents, like deaths, like are yeah. very common. Yeah, it wasn't like super fast. It was just me being stupid yeah. and turning. Yeah. Fault, so I just fell off. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Dumb, dumb, yeah. dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't flip do quad that. bikes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because like I remember, I remember, like I, I never like I had, I knew one person in my school who owned like a quad bike, and he was like the fucking cool kid, right? Well, if you have like farms, everyone like the like a lot of people had them. Mm. Yeah, I mean like the only reason this guy, this guy, this guy had a quad bike or this kid had a quad bike was because his dad had won the lottery, uh, right? So he was like, he was- Why is it when you get too rich, you buy a quad bike? I don't know. Because there's no I, practical use for a quad yeah, bike, right? Right? 
<laughs> it's just to have, isn't it? Yeah. If you have too much land, you get a quad bike. Yeah, of course. So you can get around the land. Yeah. yeah, so he was just like, he was the cool kid because he was the kid that owned a quad bike. And like, it, it was like the kid that like, you'd want to be friends because yeah. you knew that you'd made it when he'd invite you around his house. Yeah. Cause like you'd hear, <laughs> you'd hear stories about how people went to this kid's house and were like, went on a quad bike. Yeah, fucking, it's it's fuck. either that one kid that owns a quad bike or that one kid whose dad works in an IT company and owns every game console ever. Oh yeah. Everyone had that one friend. <laughs> my oh. friend was both. Oh really? Oh <laughs> he, my God. He, his dad was he a was farmer. The 1%. His dad was a farmer. So he had all the quad bike and yeah. all that stuff, but he also mm -hmm. had all the game consoles. And I always used to love going because he had Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube. Oh, best game. And I was like, this is insane. You can, Pokemon are like three, damn, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> So we'd have a day of like quad biking and then it, I, his mum would make amazing food. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. I get to play on the, Yeah, and so I just like never wanted to leave his house. And, yeah. and luckily like I slept, slept over at his house so many goddamn times. Yeah, yeah. And I love staying at his house. Yeah, I had yeah. that one friend too. That was like- It was that. amazing, but yeah. it was so much fun. I loved, I loved going to his house. That was like the best childhood memories. Yeah. yeah. Except where I nearly died on the quad bike, of course. <laughs> that was my own fault. <laughs> That was my own fault. That's fair enough. But quad bikes are fun though. Yeah. I remember I uh, there was really, oh, uh, they're so fun. Have they're, you been on one? They're pretty, no. e they're pretty easy to drive. Have I been on one? I don't think I have been on one actually. No. It's like no. a stable bike. <laughs> until it flips over. Until, yeah, until you do a dumb turn. I mean, so like the, we used to got to like the, you know what I was saying about like the kayaking thing. Mm. Yeah. There was another place that was kind of a similar thing. It had like swimming pool and uh, all that. And it also had quad bikes right. that you were yeah. allowed to ride, but they put like safety pins or something in it mm. that yeah. limited the speed. Yeah. So you couldn't go above a certain speed and it was painfully slow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And one of the kids who owned the quad bike knew how to remove it. Right. And then so we were all doing laps, right? Going right. really slow on these bikes. And suddenly it was this one kid's turn. And the teachers are like looked away for a second yeah. and he go back. This kid's going like fucking tearing up all the yeah. like dirt, flinging it at all the teachers and stuff, like absolutely tearing up the track. And they couldn't stop him. Right. Because he's going too fast. Yeah, but like you couldn't yeah. like get in the way. Yeah. And so he's going super fast. He gets the bollocking of his life. But yeah. it was so funny just watching him like destroy Roy, this this like land that had been finally made. <laughs> it was just like tearing up the mud and shit. Destroy it all. So funny. Do you guys have any experiences uh, with motorbikes or anything like that? No, I, I wish I'd love to drive a motorbike. I've been on the really? back of a motorbike many times, but it's it's scary. It's fucking terrifying. Yeah. I want to learn how to ride one. I've thought about it, but then I've also heard of every single person I've ever known who used to ride a motorbike is. Uh, it's all past tense. They used to ride a motorbike yeah. I, I because wanna, most yeah. of the time they get in horrible accidents. I just want to ride one. I just want to know how to drive one. What if yeah. I'm like, I just need to ride a, a motorcycle yeah. one. I, I, was, I, was like, tempted, like I was tempted to get like a, in Japan, like getting like a moped, moped yeah. license yeah, yeah. because apparently you can get it in like one day. Oh. It's like yeah, super yeah, it's, it's you just have to do like I a heard. test and yeah. you pay like 60 bucks or something. Yeah, 60 bucks. 60 bucks. <laughs> 60 bucks. <laughs> 60 bucks. <laughs> I see. Yeah, you pay like yeah. 60 bucks for a test yeah. and then you can just get it in like a couple of hours. Yeah, and then because you just have to buy what, a if you, what if you're like James Bond chase and you need to drive a motorcycle? You know? Oh, I'm going to drive a moped shit. fucking. <laughs> 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 they just catch up to you. That's you're going to catch me, Stop you immediately. Like, Jay, where you going, mate? Yeah. Because like, live it. Like, if you go to Thailand, you're probably going to have to ride a motorcycle. And when I say motorcycle, it's not like a fucking Harley Davidson or something. It's 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 the Southeast Asian like kind of like moped motorcycles yeah, where yeah. it's like like a scooter, right? Like a scooter. Yeah. yeah. I but, thought motocross was really cool as well, right? Yeah, like 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 that kind of like that kind of bike. I mm. guess. Mm. Yeah, but like I've been on on enough fucking crazy ass fucking mo <laughs> like moped motorbike taxi drivers that it's just put me off from ever wanting to yeah. learn a motorbike. And like the one time that I tried learning how to ride uh, a motorbike, which was one of these bikes, mind you. And I remember, of course it was in Thailand. Mm. And uh, like, I remember like, if you want to get around, but not want to own a car, then you'd learn how to drive a motorcycle. Yeah, right? Right, that's right, that's right. what, that's yeah. the cheap way to go about it. I mean, that's why in Top Gear in the Vietnam special, they didn't have cars, they yeah. had motorbikes, yeah. right? Do they get uh, stolen a lot? Huh? Do they get stolen a lot? I assume so. I've never owned one, so I would yeah, assume right. so. Probably. Right. But like I remember like the only time I've tried to learn how to ride one was I was I was I've had like enough like scary experience with motorbikes that I've just never wanted to learn how to ride one. And I remember like my, I remember my dad was just like, come on, son, you gotta learn how to drive one. Come on. Right, we're yeah. in Thailand. You got to learn how to drive one eventually. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember he, he like builds this idea, like my my entire family like build this idea up of me having to like at least give it a try mm, of right. how to learn how to ride a motorbike. And I remember this one time, 
I was like, okay, fine. I'll give it. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. It's just like it's just like riding a bike, right? It's just like riding a bike, right? Yeah, no. and just, just like it. Just like riding a bike, and it's it was like a one for one recreation of like my car experience, no. right? <laughs> because I remember, I remember my dad after building up all this courage. We have uh, we have like my uh, we have like my cousin's motorbike that I could try out and just start learning with. And my dad like brings me over to the bike and goes, okay, just sit on this bike, okay. And what you need to do, just just try, just try like just Your dad like, like give you that much. Confident, he like yeah. stuck you on it. Yeah, he, oh, he stuck hell. me on it, and he, he just like he just twisted a bit. And he just just twisted a bit. Just just give no. it, give it a bit of a rev. And me, like like a one for one, thinking a little bit of a, bit of a twist is fifty percent of one. John, how you can't you can't like do this. Yeah. You can only do like fifty yeah. percent. And so. Fifty and so, percent means oh sorry. Fifty percent means one hundred and eighty degrees. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I go, I go like, okay, I'll give it a little twist. Fifty yeah. percent power, <laughs> like that. Immediately rev forward. I immediately fall down, and like I, the motorbike falls down on me. I'm like, all right, no, I'm never getting on one yeah. again. <laughs> like, I'm just reminded of all those videos of like where they thank you, where they like rev the motorbike and, and the motorbike just yeah. comes yeah. over them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really want to learn like. I don't know, like a lot of quote unquote, like dangerous vehicles. I'd love to learn how to drive. I really want to learn how to drive a speedboat. I don't know why. I've a never, speedboat? I've never even been in a, like a boat, a speedboat. I've been in a speedboat and I've it's never been terrifying. in a speedboat. I just want to learn how to drive one. They look because, so fun. Because uh, in Australia, or at least in Sydney, we used to have uh, like, we had like a ferry service because we were like yeah. in a bay, mm -hmm. but you'd also get what's called a, a water cat, mm -hmm. which is basically think of like, uh, it's a taxi, I think I know. like a yeah, water yeah, taxi, yeah. but it's instead of a taxi, it's a speedboat. Yeah, right. I think I know the one. And you like get on those, dude, those things are fucking scary. Dude, they look so fun. They're so <laughs> fast. Like I want to ride a jet ski. I've never ridden a jet ski in my life. I want to ride a jet ski. Jet I've, I've heard fun. jet skis are fun. That's like the college frat boy asshole. Yeah. 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 I just want to ride one. It looks so fun. Yeah. Uh, let's do it in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, very easy to get jet oh, skis yeah. in Thailand. Yeah. I remember I saw uh, a sheet that was like, it was like accidents by race or something. Right. So it was like 100% of accidents in like some part of the US yeah. was like all white people or something. <laughs> and it was it was for it was for uh, jet ski. Jet ski. 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. of jet ski accidents for white people. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that, yeah, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah, that checks out. Definitely. I think the second was like skiing or something. Oh yeah, yeah of I was course. Like, okay, then we're, yeah. was third golf. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to try surfing. Surfing was one thing I've always wanted to try. I've well, done surfing. Thing and I, Seems hard. I thought, of course, of course, you're Australian, Joey. Right, but you like, have to. I, you thought, have to. I thought I would enjoy it, but I weirdly didn't. It seems really hard. It's right. really, really hard. Um, it's not even so much about like, you know, it's not like snowboarding where like the biggest obstacle is you're being scared to just yeah. like go fast or whatever. Like yeah. it's literally just like, it's the act of standing up from a yeah, really like yeah. rickety, yeah, like where the, where the yeah, floor yeah. isn't still, right? And like that, and you do that a couple of times and you can't even like get on your knees and then you fucking fall over and then you're hot, you, you're, you're, you just snap. You're like, fuck it, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> because like the one time you can actually like stand up, yeah, it's actually pretty easy to control, yeah. right? right? Because just think of it as like snowboarding, but with less friction, right? Yeah. So, right. It's, so it's pretty easy to do. It's the standing up part that's like fucking impossible for me. Right. I, don't, I don't know what it is. Um, and then when you when you flip in a in a in a surfboard, it hurts. Yeah, I can imagine. Because oh, right. the one thing that I'm always afraid of is like, what if I flip off and, the board and then the board you. just fucking smacks on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. I've seen that happen yeah. to people, and yeah. it looks like it really fucking hurts. <laughs> Seeing them ride that wave is just so fucking cool. Yeah. I really uh, want to do it again. I've never had the opportunity. I've yeah. never had the opportunity. Yeah. Like, because living in England, where are we going to find fucking yeah. waves? I mean, you could, <laughs> you could go to Cornwall. I know, yeah. but that die. Was, the, yeah. wave, the wave the waves are way too powerful. Yeah, they yeah. Kill you or yeah. they're like nothing. I think that was the problem as well because like you know because we did it for PE at one time because because our school was right. the most Australian thing I've ever heard. Oh, because our school was surfing for PE. Yeah. Our school is literally next to a beach. So right. we just like walk down five minutes down the hill and it's like, yeah, there's a beach right there. You can yeah. go surf. Um, of course there is. Yeah, but it was, it, was, it was scary, dude, for a different reason. That's so cool, yeah. man. I wish I could. I wish I could. Lots, lots of firsts we want to try. You want to try golf. You want to try sailing. Surf, yeah. Surfing. Surfing and, and surfing. sailing. I want to try quad biking. Yeah, dude. Quad biking. I, mean, I want to try them all easy. actually. Yeah, I want to yeah. try them all. Yeah. Uh, can we just have like a sports festival day for trash days? Yeah. <laughs> I just well, want to try like at all of these things in one place. Yeah, I want to try like I just want to try more like extreme sports. You know what sure. I mean? It's you tried skiing. Now you got a taste for the extreme, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, a yeah. taste of adrenaline. You know. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, bungee, bungee jumping, yeah. Bungee jump I'm too. still waiting for Chris. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> but you know who else likes extreme sports? Our patrons. Of course. Oh, really? Of course. Do I don't Man. know. I don't They're know. just I don't so know. daring. Yeah. They dared enough to support the yeah, boys. They're, they're so, so daring. That, that, that is the most extreme sport. Yeah. <laughs> it's the support. Supporting. A podcast. <laughs> Supporting Getting the boys. Getting your wallet out. Getting the wallet out. That's the hardest sport. <laughs> Thinking, yeah, these guys are worth my money. That's, yeah. that's the most extreme sport of them all. We do appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Yes, but thank you. And if you would like to support the show, then go to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Trash Taste. Also follow us on Twitter. Send us memes on the subreddit and if you head our face listen to us on spotify um and what kind of extreme sport would you like to try i feel like this pandemic like era has just like made people want to just like try sport at least yeah. for me anyway yeah because because the I, th I think one of the biggest things about trying new sport is just getting like getting the motivation to just go out of your comfort Go, to, yeah. go out of your comfort yeah. zone and just try out a new sport. It definitely helps right? when you have a, like your mates around and be like, yeah, I'll yeah, try yeah. it with you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Like, I, I don't know if I could do snowboarding by myself because <laughs> I just feel like, yeah, yeah. it's hard. <laughs> there's, there's, it's a sad image of just like one person just sitting in the fucking thing <laughs> going up, right? It's like, oh. <laughs> oh. All around me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, anyway, anyway, that's been this yeah. episode of Trash Taste. Yes. Good one. Good one. Uh, yeah. We'll see you guys next week, I guess. Bye. Bye. <laughs>